What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel for yet another live fight companion. Today, Albuquerque, New Mexico, BKFC 59, and our boy from the MMA world, John Dodson, currently competing in Ryzen, also the champion, the flyweight champion of BKFC. Knuckle up, motherfuckers. Let's freaking go. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload, so you never miss a live stream. We do live fight companions every single weekend. We do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. Being a member does come with the perks. Rule number one, do not touch my Percocets. Rule number two, do you got any freaking Percocets? What's up, Fishing with H? Good to see you. Yo, 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 yo. Is this three without a gift? This is the last free one, Shane. This is the last free fight on YouTube. And then uh, and then it is on the BKFC app or via gift, as you said. Really sorry, guys. I wasn't able to do more streams today. We fired through ACA this morning. And, and like I was telling you guys on stream ACA, I, I, I had to treat this day somewhat of a work day. And I, I had a project to get done, so... I had to do it. The client needed it done by today. Had to get it done. So my apology. I couldn't fit in any shoot of Brazil or LFA. But we're still here, ladies and gentlemen. We are still here. Vote in the poll question. Let me know who you voted for. I know who Andrew's voting for. And still, it's kind of where I'm leaving, leaving as well. I'm going to have a banger dropping soon. Can't wait to check it out, my man. Again, keep up the great work. Big shout out to the exclusive members here. Um, but yeah, BKFC, it's five bucks a month on the BKFC app and you get what three events minimum a month. So I've just kept that going, Shane. Um, I haven't even, I've never used a quote unquote gift to watch, uh, to watch BKFC. I mean, maybe one of the pay-per-views. No, I think I actually bought the pay-per-view to be honest. What's up, Hoggy from home. Good to see you. I voted and still too. Let's go. Let's go. What's up, Roman the faster. What's going on? I know this isn't traditional boxing, but it's bare knuckle boxing. So let's freaking go. All right, let's take a look at both these fighters. Each of them have a fight in the ring, the bare knucks ring, I should say. Let's see their background here. Felipe Chavez has a pro MMA record of six and four. He actually fights at a Jackson wing. He's fought in King of the Cage, Bellator. He got a third round knockout victory against Michael Mano at BKFC Prospect Series. Looking at his opponent, Leandro Torres, four and one as an MMA fighter. He also got a third round Dr. Stoppage victory in BKFC Prospect Series, but last year, okay? So Torres fought last year in BKFC Prospect Series. Chavez fought earlier this year in BKFC Prospect Series. Uh, no, it's okay. We forgive you. Got you. Hey, Sunday. We're making up for it on Sunday. Hey, Hockey from Home 1, 2, and 3 is in the live chat here. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. You got two subs? Let's go. Uh, Rancho, what's up, Rancho? Isha El Jefe de YouTube. What's up, Rancho? Thank you so much for joining. For a USC poll tomorrow, is USC making underwhelming fight nights by overloading pay per views with ranked fighters uh, and names? Bobby Green, Jim Miller. Ooh, I'm gonna. Andrew, you're so good with the poll questions. I gotta just refer to you for weekly poll questions. All right, this fight's about to begin, ladies and gentlemen. And again, if you, um, Two, two extra subs <laughs> of the Subway variety, of the Jimmy John, of the Jersey Mikes. Should we one fight beer bet? Well, aren't we tied? I mean, screw it. We might as well, Shane. We might as well. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Chavez on this one. My answer is yes, by the way. Uh, I tend to agree as well, Andrew. I tend to agree. All right, by the way, guys, it's been a freaking week. It's been a, a long week. It's been a busy week for me. I know a lot of you are hitting a different type of bowl tonight. I'm going to tell you this right now. Shout out to Back Channel Brewing. We're hitting the beer bowls tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's freaking go. We're hitting the beer bowls tonight. Oh, yeah. Leave it to Back Channel Brewing. They're always funky with their uh, with their cups. And I've never, from a brewery, bought in a cup that's straight up a bowl. So we're hitting the beer bowls tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers! Ah, 
Let's go. I needed that. Time to take the edge off. Watch some violence. Watch some fights. Round one. Let's go. Let's get it on. Oh, and right off the bat, a beautiful left hand drops Torres by Chavez. Torres getting the count on the freaking first punch of the <laughs> of the freaking fight. God, I love this league. I love this league. I'm watching on the BKFC app, so I might be a little bit behind you guys, but spoil away, comment away. One minute and 32 seconds on the clock. Yeah, Torres got a high guard now. Torres continues to walk forward. Swinging and missing with the left is Chavez. I'm showing Alpha Zed of your bowl. I have screenshotted your bowl. Have you ever had cereal to that thing? Or, or, and did you replace the milk with beer? Dude, I should do that. Oh, and another big left by Chavez. And it is all over just like that, ladies and gentlemen. This is why I love this league. What a crazy, crazy promotion. It is unbelievable. Two punches and it's all over. Two freaking punches and it's all over. No, I've actually, I've never drank or eaten anything out of this bowl but beer. And it's made for, it's made for uh, hazy IPAs. But we're drinking a... By the way, Back Channel Brewing, one of the best breweries in Minnesota, right on the beautiful, uh, right, right in beautiful Minnetonka, actually, on Lake Minnetonka. They actually have a dock from the brewery. It's amazing. Um, and a boat launch, too. But this is the Indeed Brewing Modern Age uh, Session IPA. A little bit lower percent, but uh, a lot of flavor to it. A lot of flavor to it. Only coming in at 4%. Usually I'm drinking the, the higher percent stuff, but uh, no, this one's good. This one's good. Yo, what's up, Ethan? That was the world... That was the world record fastest beer bet. <laughs> right? Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, sorry. Sorry I couldn't do any of the, uh, the fights that... On Fight Pass, Shane, tonight... Uh, I might, depending on how late this goes, we might have some time to do uh, your eye favors A1 combat, but we'll see. We'll see. That that one's going to be a moving target. Uh, Matthew Henry got suspended for testing positive for performance enhancing substances. He is a 2024 draft eligible pick. You now you got 17 year old junior hockey guys. We're getting, or is he? Is he? Or does he go to college hockey from home? I don't even know who that is. Matthew Henry. I should know this as the as the hockey guy. Matthew Henry Hockey. Who the heck is this? Oh, he plays for Prince Albert. Oh my god, dude. That's... <sighs> no, he actually plays for... He's from Prince Albert. He plays for Brandon Wheat Kings. I mean, Hockey from home. Let's be honest. He was never going to be drafted anyways. He was never going to be drafted anyways. 100 penalty minutes and one point in 37 games. God, we're going to see him in BKFC next. Let's be perfectly honest. That was quick as fuck. Yo, what's up, Curtis Clark? Good to see you. Just took four screenshots of your beer since the beginning of the stream. Cool, cool, cool. Fuck a wine pairing. Tell me what style beer goes best with Cocoa Pops and shit. I think, I think you just inspired one of the next beer vlogs I post on this channel. No cap, my friend. I should get different types of beers and different types of cereals. And see what pairs best. And I'll get back channel beers, and maybe, maybe they'll even be in on it. Maybe, maybe they'll hook me up with some free, some free beers if I, uh, if I do some crazy content like that. Metallica fan, uh, just the prelims. This isn't a fight night. So if you have the BKFC app, which the BKFC app, um, it's only four four ninety nine a month, and you get at least three fights uh, a month on the app. Uh, good to see you, Metallica fan. Good to see you. I was just, I was just telling everyone, everyone in our chat here is hitting a different type of bowl. We're hitting the beer bowls tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We're hitting the beer bowls. He plays for the Wheat Kings. Yeah, but he's just a bruiser. 100 penalty minutes, one point in 37 games. He's never being drafted. Who's your number one pick for the draft? Well, it's going to be Celebrini, I imagine. I'm excited for Zim Buyab and seeing where he goes. The Denver defenseman, he is nasty. I'm showing these screenshots of Alpha Zeta. 
I know you don't follow football or soccer, as you'd say, but my team spent sixty million on a player two months later, and he got banned for ten months. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. I follow a little bit, but like you know, not enough to like have a proper conversation about it. I follow wherever my boy Alfonso Davies goes, and I follow the Canadians out uh, out east. By the way, Gabe Velarde's doing better. Spleen is back to normal. Nice. I'm, I've been rooting for Gabe. I've been rooting uh, for Gabe Velarde since he was drafted. I've always uh, been a fan of him. Yo, what's up, Iris Snackbox? Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, the main card is ten bucks. May as well get it. That's dirt cheap. Well, if you're gonna watch these regularly, five five bucks a month for for three cards as a member uh, or like a if if you sign up and subscribe to the BKFC app it might be a little bit more now i might be grandfathered in cuz i've had i've been paying for BKFC for like over over 2 years now and um so maybe i was grandfathered into like the cheaper monthly subscription but regardless um if you're a fan of BKFC i mean even that's worth one card a month personally but if you're going to watch more than one card a month then yeah it's not bad at all it's not bad at all uh, but in two months while he was playing for my team, he was just found guilty of betting on himself again, bros. Never seeing a football pitch again. Oh, that's unfortunate. $60 million for him, too. That's crazy, man. Oh, man. Anybody watching this top-ranked boxing card? Uh, I think Jay Smooth is covering it there at Rush Hour Fight Club. I know Valdez is fighting in the main event, and I'm a big fan of Valdez. And overall, it's not a bad card. ESPN uh, top rank top rank cards usually deliver. You got any bets on that one, Curtis? Nasty finish from Richard Torres Jr. Nice, nice. Usually, uh, we'll do top rank, but I mean, it's John Dodson on a BKFC card tonight, so we're we're gonna be uh, focusing on this. There's just so much, so much combat sports going on tonight. Shuto Brazil, an awesome card. I don't know if you guys caught any of the prelims. That was awesome. Uh, LFA had a had a good finish as well on the prelims. Um, we have what else is going on tonight? Your eye favors A one combat. Yeah, Valdez is fighting in top rank boxing, and of course BKFC fifty nine. Those are the main ones going on tonight. You know, Alfazetta loves the beer vlogs. You saw him screenshot the songs. Uh, that's awesome. I'm glad you guys dig the beer vlogs. Um, I filmed another one, another THC seltzer one. I'm going to a couple breweries on Sunday. But I like the cereal and beer idea. That That's funky. That's fun. Torres Jr. is a stud, says uh, Andrew. We will be streaming some boxing on Sunday. That Sky Sports uh, card. Fuck, uh, five a month is damn good. Uh, yeah, they might have raised the price like a little bit. I, I don't know. I might be grandfathered in. I, ha I haven't looked or haven't questioned it. But yeah, five bucks a month for a minimum of three uh, BKFC cards. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Torres under one and a half minus 500. Let's go. Good for Torres. What's up, Sean? Good to see you. I boxer sparred and it was fucking intense. And I punch his nose, but don't worry. I'm not going to hurt him. Yeah, you did some sparring today. Roman the Faster. Um, uh, He does boxing training as well. Uh, Son MMA. I know he was training for an amateur fight coming up. And, um, and our friend Volcan. I know he's been hitting the gym hard as well. He said he was going to make his amateur debut sometime in 2024. Oh, yeah, you know I'm watching the main event of BKFC. Let's go. <laughs> it's, and I'm bollocksed. I shouldn't just go. I literally told you to make your persona and a song. And yeah, as soon as I saw his opponent, I knew the under was going to cash. Uh, sloppy fat heavyweight came for a check. <laughs> I think that's what uh, Jay Smooth was telling me too about the card. He needs a big step up in talent. All right, let's take a look at the guys that we have coming up next on this card, ladies and gentlemen, as we near the top of the hour here. How do you slash someone from behind is my question. In hockey? I mean, pretty... Pretty damn easy. You just you just get a good swing going and go full freaking. You know it's happened before. It's happened before. I mean, mostly in the eighties and nineties, but uh, it was so obby. Because Caden Gould slash Travis Konecki from behind and got a game suspension. Yeah, that, I mean that's that's how you do it. Swing bada bada. Yeah, there's been a lot of uh, crazy. I mean, I shouldn't say a lot, but there's been some interesting suspensions this year in the, the National Hockey League. 
the, the dangerous thing about the beer bowl is it goes down real quick. Real quick. They feed Francis to AJ and then let fighters like Torres pad records for like 10, 20 fights. Is slashing in hockey basically baseball? No, it's more like a, uh, I would say, an assault, a felony. <laughs> Why is fucking name is street more like street fight? Well, because there's street beefs. There there are a few a uh, few different leagues. There's uh street beefs. There's another one that's like street something or other. Long live Harambe. Yes, long live Harambe. Oh, that's one of your news is in your video. Yeah, Hockey From Home dropping a new video on her channel here tonight, guys. So if you if you dig hockey and you want your weekly hockey updates, Hockey From Home has got you back. Um, all right, let's uh, yeah, let's highlight these next two fighters here. Making his debut in BKFC is Justin Street, the nightmare. Justin Street's 31 years of age. He's a pro MMA record of four and seven and an amateur MMA record of seven and two. Most of the time, MMA regional scene in, De in Detroit. Oh, he had a good amateur record. Um, where did he fight in MMA? Let's take a look here. I got Tapology um, up as well. So where did he fight primarily? Okay, so he fought in... Oh, man, I, I haven't even heard of these regional seasons. I've heard of WXC, but I have not heard of Clip, which is Carlos Linas International Fight Promotions, where he went 3-3 three and three in. Um, Yeah, he, he has been active in, in 2023. In 2020, yeah, well, he was active in 2023 and he was fighting in pro MMA on the regional scene. He fought or he went seven and two, like I said, between 2014 and 2016. Now he's uh trying his luck in bare knucks. His opponent, Anthony Sanchez, um, one and one in pro boxing. And is one on one in Bear Nucks. He lost a unanimous decision against Derek Perez um, last year. And towards the end of 2023, he actually fought Gene Perez, funny enough, the brothers there, um, on the last Dodson card. So I imagine he's an Albuquerque guy where he won a split decision against Gene Perez at BKFC 48. Oh, he's fun. He's from Texas. Okay, he's from Texas. I thought he might be an Albuquerque guy, given that he fought on the last Albuquerque card. But uh, but anyways, yeah, I'm going to go with Sanchez on this one. Just more experience. He's been in there before locking it in. Oh, what's up, Arthur? Good to see you, my man. Good to see you. Well, no love for Harambe. Did anything happen to Petgrave with what happened to John Johnson? I don't follow hockey. You mean out, out, uh, out east? I think there's a criminal criminal investigation, yeah. I come on, dude. You won an Olympic silver medal. Fight some talented guys. <laughs> so political. And this is how boxing works. If you want to see competitive matchups on a regular basis, boxing is not the sport to watch unless it's Japanese boxing. Because those guys go freaking ham for better or for worse, right? I mean, you know, we 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 literally were streaming. Um, I mean that when that one that one kid died after the fight that we were streaming and watching, and and it, oh, man, that that one was tough for me because like you know we were all praising it. It was an amazing fight. It was absolute savagery. But I mean that's just how the Japanese fight, man. They leave it all out there. They barely clinch, you know, um, in the ring. And th though that was such a sad story, and I mean it, that's always gonna leave a like a little pit in my stomach because of, I mean, we all were celebrating how amazing that fight was. And, you know, right after the kid goes to the hospital coma and what, four weeks later, three weeks later pass. So rest in peace. But, uh, I would say if you want more even matchups, the Japanese definitely have better matchmaking. Uh, what's up? You didn't realize you were live already. Yeah, I decided, I mean, I was ready to go. There was one more prelim. I just, I just jumped on for the heck of it. Uh, Justin Street, more like Justin Street Fighter, more like Justin Street Beef. I agree, Curtis. Uh, Richard Torres is a beast. Needs to fight someone more challenging than an Uber driver already. Hi, I'm new here. Is Ronda Rousey defending her belt tonight? I hope Gracie gets the win. <laughs> uh, I got the Delgado under 7.5, minus 115 on the next top rank. 
Sounds good, hockey from home. Sounds good. No, but it's really ruined the sport. That's part of why last year was so cool. Lost a best of bets matchup. Actually fought each other. Uh, these guys' record or low, not much record. Well, a lot of them have come over from boxing or or uh, or MMA uh, to BKFC. There's there's very little BKFC fighters who like have had like amateur boxing experience and then have had more fights in BKFC than as like an amateur boxer or MMA fighter. There are a few. There are a few though. Yo, 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 what's up? How we doing? What's up, buddy? I was saying in the live chat, a lot of you in the live chat here are hitting a different kind of bowl. We're hitting the beer bowls today, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Back Channel Brewing. And like, shout out to Andrew A. He gave me a great idea for one of the beer vlogs that we do on the channel. We got to pair different beers with cereals and uh, find the best pairing, which is a little fucked up, but I think we'll make for some fun freaking content okay let me update the ticker on the bottom of the screen i already kind of went over the fighters here i'm gonna go with the more experienced bear nucks fighter for this one i am going to go with sanchez but it only takes one it only takes one to either cut you open or knock your ass out again for everyone who's coming over from the free prelims welcome to the show we do live fight companions every single weekend like play by play commentary reaction and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat so don't forget to get your comments in the live chat don't forget to vote in the poll question we will check it throughout this stream leading up to the main event we got a few streams tomorrow and another one on sunday sorry this weekend's a little bit light i have a ton of extra commitments i'd work commitments today i have a wedding party wedding dinner something rather something wedding related i'm in i'm in my friend's wedding party and there's some sort of thing going on tomorrow night but uh, we will be back hopefully to catch the end of ufc and if not we will be streaming pancreas uh can we get a fuck lebron he just sold two par he just sold two parlays by one leg because he ended an entire game with zero made with zero made threes uh yeah pro box has good competitive matchups as well yes pro box tv does because they're all like lower level which is which is honestly the which is good for them they're about the same level guys going at each other uh, da, 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 da. is it just me who doesn't like uh Aguer aguero really hope dodson ko's him yeah me too me too fighters have too much power in boxing you will have three friends joining us. That is amazing. Guys, we are setting the like goal at 40 likes tonight. There's 30 plus of you watching right now. If all of you smash that like button, I mean, we're, we'll be almost at the like goal. So smash that like button. You beautiful fight that we do. Uh, that man bowled a bowl out. I was not ready. <laughs> I now have five screenshots from tonight's stream. The last one of you drinking out of the ball. Hockey from home is literally a screenshot. I mean, I'm going to be pinning these on the wall. Cornflakes are still most definitely if you're throwing alcohol in it. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, well, I'm, I think I'm just going to get, like, I'm going to get an array of Kellogg's and I'm going to get, I'm going to get an array of back channel beers. Shout out to back channel brewing for this amazing beer bowl. Um, Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Yo, Adam Dubois, my man. Good to see you, buddy. Great to see you. Hope all is well, sir. Uh, it won't, and it's because fighters are signed to specific promotions versus in boxing to have A and B sides of promotions. Tomorrow my mom's buying me MMA gloves and boxing gloves. Atta boy, that is awesome. I got to get me some Ryzen MMA gloves to hang in the studio here. Listen, you know the stream 65 hours this week and 75 next and 85 the next or everyone is unfollowing, unsubscribing, unmembering, and turning into PFL fans. Or Rose and Amunis fans. Even worse, even worse. I said I was going to get some bucked up energy, but I didn't go to hy V today. Next time I go grocery shopping at hy V versus Aldi, I'll pick up some bucked up as they have the bucked up energy drinks there. Saudi Arabia card for UFC that got released is insane. Could be better than 301 so far, and it's a fight night. It is good. It is good. I mean, <laughs> though Dana White um, dismissed any rumor that the Saudis wanted a better card than what they originally proposed, I mean, proof's in the pudding now, right? Proof's in the pudding now. <laughs> uh i have some old like boxing gloves i don't even know what brand they are um and then i have uh they're not and i have some vending venom muay thai gloves but not mma gloves i make a vlog out of the screenshots and i just watch <laughs> i mean uh, okay 
I'm gonna do that beer blog that Andrew suggests. I'll screenshot every cereal and every beer. Oh, okay. I mean, you don't have to screenshot everything I do. I'm just saying, just saying. Uh, I've used both. I've used both. Um, I used before like MMA gloves are really a thing. I used those amateur gloves when I did point fighting. They were like six ounce, I think six ounce. Uh, those amateur gloves. You said, any streams you know for LFA they can have on in the background? Um, other than what's on, I mean, I always watch uh, LFA on Fight Pass, but it might be here. Here, I'll type it in the live chat. Um, yeah, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. I'm just on such a tight budget that I've like, I buy the main things. But I got to do that soon. I got to do that soon. Shout out from Albuquerque. Yo, Punchy Mango. Love the username. Shout out Albuquerque, New Mexico. A great hub for fighters, gyms, and shows as we see here. Oh, you said the Everlast Boxing Gloves. Nice. Don't worry, I'll give my biggest supporter credit. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I know, but I screenshot all the cool things Kyle shows too regarding photography and now the beer. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, one of those probably has this, but again, it's always on Fight Pass. It's always on Fight Pass. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, smash that like button and subscribe. Or ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. So you never miss a live stream. We've got a few more live streams this weekend. Sorry, it's a little bit thinner weekend of live streams. Have some other commitments, but uh, it is what it is. We're still here. We had a great stream this morning for ACA. And a big shout out to everyone who joined us for that. All right. Fighters are being announced in the center of the ring. Yeah, and Kyle's going to be doing more streams on the channel. Hockey from home, he's going to be doing more streams on the channel. And I record voice recordings of you guys too because I don't want to text off as of them all the time. Um, yes, I'm, I got to find a stream. I have to use a VPN and buy the pay-per-view through a Bima, but uh, we, we, are, we are going to find a way to do it. We are going to find a way to do it. It's supposed to be okay. You know what's crazy, Arthur? Is like they've been around forever. Pancras has been around since like the Boss Rootin days. They're on their three hundred and something or other show. Um, it's okay. I mean, it's it's Japanese MMA. They utilize Dan like the the good rule set a little bit more modified than Ryzen. Um, but I mean the Japanese they they always put on good shows. Definitely lower level than Deep and Ryzen in this like today. But it's cool to support that promotion as they're. They're still they're still humming. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. I saw D Rod is on the Saudi car. Shout out to that juice head, the juice head who doesn't look juiced. Oh, Mike Tyson. Even at even at this age, even at sixty, would probably knock me out. All right, we'll get back to the comments here in a sec, guys. One minute thirty eight seconds on the clock, and a nice left hook by Street on the entry. Street trying to walk down Sanchez, pressuring him outside that center line. Sanchez with a fake. Sanchez looking for that right hand, but a good straight right by Street. Sanchez looking for that right again. Just missed Street. So on that left jab is Sanchez. One minute, 18 seconds on the clock. I got Street. It's in his name where he fights. That That's a good comment so far. He should beat the shit out of Gaslam. Yeah, Gaslam had... Gaslam's been up and down recently in his career. Oh, a nice right hand by Sanchez. But... Man, Prime Gaston was so much fun to watch. He's still durable, just doesn't have that speed and just so banged up all the time. Counter right by Sanchez with Street again, pressing him to the ropes. 45 seconds on the clock, straight left jab by Sanchez. Counter right jab by Sanchez, Street with the right. Man, they always throw so quick in the pocket here. 30 seconds on the clock, center of the ring. Straight left jab by Sanchez. Do I love Asians? I love Japanese MMA. That, that's my favorite. Oh, a nice right hand by Sanchez. Street tags him with the left. Street saying, come on, come on, let's do this. 15 seconds on the clock. Good scrap between these guys. Each of them landing some good shots. Apparently, uh, Archer was saying that they're doing live scoring here tonight, which I love. I love live scoring in combat sports. I know you gamblers don't, but I don't gamble much on combat sports compared to you guys anyways i drop a little some some here every now and then all right that's it for the first round again big shout out to everyone joining us live here on the channel you all are amazing i appreciate you all 
Uh, da, da, da. I'll include the beer picks when I do my podcast, hockey, music, and beer podcast when I hit 1,000 subs if I can get uh, Ahmed on for beer. Just watch when I have you on my podcast. I'll show the picks. Sounds good. But yes, I love Japanese MMA. I love Muay Thai. I love J kickboxing. And I love, uh, yeah, I love, I, I, I love Japanese culture. And I mean, I also love Japanese women. Let's, let's be perfectly honest. Who won the round? Very close round. Very close round. Oh, it, man. Punchy Mango. It's almost too tough to call this one. They each did a little bit of damage. I'm just looking to see if the judges sco show the scoring here. Round two beginning right now. We never really got a prime gas him. I thought we were, I thought we got him at 155. Let's go. I got it. Thank you. Let's go. I have some fighters later. Nice, dude. Nice. Um, well, I, apparently they're not doing live scoring. Oh, a nice left and a right by Street. And a right by Sanchez. And Street pieces him up with a one-two. No, but I've heard it's really, really good. I've heard it's really, really good. One minute and 25 seconds on the clock. I just haven't had time to watch anything. The only thing I, I, I try to make time for is Survivor again. But that's only because I'm a degenerate and I have a bunch of futures bets on, on the winners. So, yeah, I'm a degenerate of the nerd variety. Nice left and a right by Street. Sanchez, he's landing that first good shot, but Street's piecing him up with the 1-2 on the counters or right after. And Street's the one still walking. Oh, there's the live scoring. Dude, oh my goodness. Big shots by Sanchez. So two judges have it. 10-9 for Sanchez. One judge has Street winning the first round. So two judges have Sanchez winning the first round. One judge has Street. All right, Andrew, I'm going to have to check that out. I'm going to have to check that out. <laughs> 35 seconds on the clock. And a right hand by Street. Nice right uppercut by Sanchez. 27 seconds on the clock. Oh, what's up, Dan? Good to see you. I mean, I'm watching BKFC right now, Dan. Oh, and a nice left by Street. He gets a knockdown on Sanchez. Good to see you, Dan. Dan, unfortunately, I can only be in one. Uh, I can only be in one place at one time. I can't be in two places at one time. I wish. I wish there were multiple versions of me, and we could stream different fights at the same time. But unfortunately, fortunately, however you want to deem it, uh, the focus is on BKFC tonight, brother. That's it for the second round. Oh, the best, uh, the best guy with the jokes here. Not bad, not bad. That's a step up from a dad joke. I'll say that. It's okay, nice to see you, bro. It's nice to see you too, buddy. It's nice to see you too. Don't worry, we'll get back to some LFA streams in the near future, man. But uh, yeah, we made the executive decision to do this one here tonight. Um, so again. My apologies to some, and I know some are excited that we're doing BKFC as well. Nathan, what's up, Nathan? Good to see you. Nathan Hawk with the picture of the Hawk. Let's go. I love an upset. How long have you been doing YouTube? Uh, on this channel for about two years, but I ran the, I helped run the, the Hockey Podcast Network YouTube channel, and I also do consulting for small YouTube channels on how to grow them, and I run a few YouTube channels for some clients, so my life is YouTube. Let's get it all. all right, round two, or round three, ladies and gentlemen. My bad, my bad. But uh, Dan, if you want to hang around in our live chat, I'm sure they can give you updates on LFA. I'm just, I'm not double screening it here tonight. I'm focusing on you guys and BKFC. But I can bring up fight, I can bring up tapology and give you some uh, updates if you want. But I won't be watching the fights live, anyways. I'll probably watch them later. One minute and 38 seconds on the clock. Oh, and big shots in the pocket by Sanchez. Sanchez with the right in the clinch. Sanchez with the right to the body. Some right hands to the body by Street. North Carolina to beat Marquette. Plus 190 cashes. We'll tell a man to hawk from home. You, you got to tell him to comment. You got to tell him to comment. I don't know if he's watching or not. He could be scamming me. He can be fishing for a shout-out without even commenting. Yo, man, if you're here, comment, and I'll give you a shout-out, my man. 
54 seconds on the clock, center of the ring. Forty seconds. There's a cut under the left eye of Street. He's leaking. Still got good head movement. But yeah, tell your boy uh, man to drop a like and drop a comment, and we'll give him a shout out. Oh, big right by Sanchez, but Street lands a nice one-two combo, and man, Sanchez has got a chin because Street's hit him with some big shots. Hog from home. Tell him to comment. Tell him to comment. Man, if you're here, comment, buddy. And we'll give you a shout-out. I ain't just giving shout-outs away for free, Hog from home. <laughs> uh, what's up, Chad? Good to see you, buddy. Street never made it far in our regional soon. Maybe BKFC is for him. He did go 7-2 and two as an amateur, though. All right, that's it for the third round. I mean, he looks good so far. He looks good so far. One judge had him winning the first round... S Second round could have gone either way as well. I missed the live scoring there. My apologies, guys. Oh, you got him to win all of March Madness on a crazy plus 100. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. I hope that hits. I hope that hits. I hope that hits so you can quit your job <laughs> and just live the rest of your life chilling. I did a message. Him. Nice, nice. Good to see you again, Chad. Good to see you again. But yeah, Justin Street, he is, well, he fought um, in Clip and WXC. I have wor I have heard of Warrior Extreme Cage fighting. There's, I think there's a few guys um, who started off on the regional scene there, but I haven't heard of Clip before. All three judges at Street winning the second round. Okay, thank you, buddy. What, what would I do without you, Ethan? All right, round four, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad Street won that round. Let's see, won the third, though. Sanchez did more damage in the third, but Street landed more shots, so we'll see how the judges score this one. Yo, what's up, Phil? Good to see you, buddy. One minute, 44 seconds on the clock. Hey, you don't have to give me a shout-out, but I just want to say I'm impressed with the way you do commentary. I will sub you. Thank you so much, crazy clown. I'm giving you a shout-out anyways. You crazy motherfucking clown, you. Thank you so much. Phil as well. Thank you so much for the $5 earlier today, Phil. Really appreciate it. You didn't have to do that, man. Keep up the great work. Love the super light graphic on Twitter, by the way. One minute and 21 seconds on the clock. This is a great scrap, ladies and gentlemen. And there's a cut on Sanchez above his right eyebrow. One minute and 12 seconds on the clock. I'll get back to you guys' comments between rounds. Street with a nice left and a right. Man, Street's combos have been picture perfect here tonight. There's a left hook by Street. One minute on the clock, swing and a miss by Sanchez. I don't want to see strike attempts. I want to see strikes landed. There we go. 47 total strikes landed for Street. 44 for Sanchez right now. 46 seconds left in the fourth round. Appreciate you, crazy clown. Nice right hand by Street. Man, I like Street. Oh my goodness, Street with the left hook. Bro, this is Street's, this is Street's game, man. His last name is fitting, as someone pointed out in the live chat here. He's a menace on the street. He's a menace in the street fights. Wait, what's wrong with Chad? One of my best friends named Chad, and he's a fucking giga Chad. Uh, WXC used to do Tuesday fights on Fight Pass. Oh, that's probably... I probably tuned into a few of them before I started streaming. Yeah, one of my best friends is named Chad. He's one of the coolest dudes I know. Owns his own business, former junior hockey player. Turned down a full ride scholarship to play junior or to play college hockey because he's based and had other aspirations. He tunes in every now and then too, Chadillac. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. should have 29 28 on the scorecards right now. Uh, they already showed round three scorecards. It was while you were looking up streets record. I, I just I'm not I'm not used to okay here's the real time scoring for the fourth round all the judges have it for street dude street's gonna win this if it goes the distance if he has a good fifth round I saw a post of the NHL didn't did March Madness it was Jets versus Ducks and Vegas versus Blues well uh, the NHL can't do March Madness it's a college tournament 
Never thought I'd be giving a thumbs up to a crazy clown. Keep it like this and you can go places. Oh, appreciate it, man. You're far too kind. You're far too kind. Chad would be fun to have, an, have as a name in my opinion. Yo, what up? What up? Thank you so much for joining. Yes, yeah, not a bad name. I don't cover my name up like some people in the chat. Surely all three street winning round four. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Yeah, we got the crazy clown in the live chat here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I don't think the NHL could do March Madness. It's not that type of league. Uh, round five, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, nice right uppercut in the clinch by Sanchez. I mean, Sanchez needs a knockout here. Sanchez needs a knockout. There is a tournament, though. There is an NCAA tournament going on right now, hockey from home, in college hockey. Shout out to the Gophers who beat Omaha last night. Fuck the Mavericks. One minute and 32 seconds on the clock. It wasn't a great showing by the Gophers, though. Whew. Straight left by Street. But uh, BU next for the Gophers. Oh, my goodness. Street with a right and a double left hook and a right by Street before they clinch up. Ref separates them. One minute and 15 seconds on the clock. Is it the crazy clown or is it the creepy clown? One minute on the clock. Man, what a fun fight. What a fun fight. Oh, a nice right hand by Sanchez. Pop left jab by Street. Man, I think Street has found his calling, man. Great performance by Street. Sanchez got a hell of a chin, but Street has pieced him up for the majority of this fight. Street learned everything he knows on the street. 30 seconds left. I'll, get, I'll catch up with the comments here, guys. The sane but buzzed clown. 22 seconds on the clock. Pressuring Sanchez into the ropes as he's been doing all fight. Great footwork, great head movement. Awesome combos here by Street. And Street with the counter right and left hook. Sanchez moving forward. Street in the pocket. Lands a left and a right. Couple right uppercuts by Sanchez. Those have been his best tool all night. Final seconds. And that is it. What a fight. Standing O. Standing O. What a fight. God damn, I love this promotion. What a fight. Street's going to take this one. Street's going to take this one. And what a great performance by him. What a great performance by him. You should do love clowns. You hate clowns versus currents. I hate them. I'm, I mean, I, I, I love the crazy clown. Oh, yeah. I know some people aren't fans of, aren't a fan of clowns. I mean, the frozen four is decent, but it isn't even close to as big a tourney as March Madness. No, it, it's not. It's not. But if you're a hockey fan who doesn't care about basketball, it, it's, it's bigger to us, right? Like I, I could care less about March Madness personally. I like basketball. It's not my favorite sport, but like if, if it's on, I'm going to watch it. You know, if Mark, like when March Madness is on and I have time, like I, I've been throwing it on while I've been like cooking dinners the last few nights and my roommates uh, had it on one night. It's an awesome tournament, but like, I'm sorry. The Frozen Four and the Frozen Face Off, uh, the division finals, that, I mean, I'm a hockey fan first, right? So I'm, I'm obviously way more into the, the NCAA hockey tournament. I'm not arguing that it's not as bad that it's bigger than March Madness. It's not March Madness is, is huge. March Madness is global. Um, but for me, I mean, if you put one against the other. I could give two shits about the basketball tournament. I'm all in on hockey, baby. Uh, for one, for, for one, not being dropped. This has been a great scrap. Uh, no, I, I, I love crazy clown. Street is from Detroit. We scrap baby. Clown that came to my school was pretty creepy. Let me show you a picture. She would think he looks creepy. I did beat up uh, Ronald McDonald as a kid during like a magic show. I remember that. I remember I got I got like called up from the audience for a volunteer, and I was pissed off at Ronald. So I like I'm pretty sure I, I bit him. I'm pretty sure I went full Igor and bit it, bit him and got kicked off the stage. So yo, my BKFC parlay bust and the lines are closed. So I'm skipping uh, BKFC tonight. We'll have to join y'all tomorrow. Sounds good, Mikey P. Enjoy the rest. Enjoy the rest of your night, buddy. Sorry that your parlay was already busted. Cheers, my man. He might be. Are you still on vacation or are you back home before, before you leave? 
She was supposed to fight Rambo Russo before Russo got arrested. Wonder how that fight would have gone. That was such a crazy story. Look at the nasty cut, man, on uh, on Sanchez. Everyone thinks this clown is creepy. Plot twist. Street went to private school. But just want to stop and let everyone know LFA ref literally just let a guy die and take 50 extra punches without stopping the fight for some reason. Mikey P, honestly, I had to check that out because an atrocious one happened in ACA today where, the, where they let the Belarusian take one minute and 30 seconds of damage three times. He fell to the ground and like fetal position and, and the ref let it go. It was the most horrendous non-stoppage I have ever seen in my entire life of watching mixed martial arts. Um... The main event of ACA. Highly recommend checking it out. It was and and let me know if it come if it's worse than the one you just watched, Mikey P. Main event of of ACA second round. The most horrendous stoppage or lack thereof that I've ever seen in Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> An upset. Let's go. Give shout out to Street who wins this one. I use double OT. Win was sick. Uh, when I went to Carnival, I was fine with clowns. It's just at school, literally, the clown was dropping blocks. Go MSU! Hey, no problem. Thank you, Crazy Clown, for hanging out. Uh, I want a lot of money. I love the sport. I never watched college basketball game. I like it more than NBA, especially what I love about the tournaments. There's so much on the line, so I feel like you see the best of what the, the players bring. And then because there's a lot on the line, it, there's just a different vibe to it. But again, I'm, I'm not the biggest basketball guy. Um, I like sports that you can fight in box lacrosse, ice hockey, and all and combat sports. Th th those are my three. Those are my three. I mean, if you want to send me it, yeah, sure. I'm home, but technically still on vacation since I don't work. Ay, right, fair enough, fair enough. How was the trip though, Mikey? How was the trip? Did a war one? What's up, uh, Mauricio Felix? Um, he hasn't fight. He hasn't fought yet, buddy. He hasn't fought yet. Let me double check. Let me double check though, just to confirm. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. yeah, no, he hasn't fought yet, buddy. He hasn't fought yet. I think he's coming up. No, he's coming up later on the card. He's coming up later on the card. You still got time, brother. You still got time. Um, good to see you, by the way, uh, Mauricio. Uh, I can't believe so many people are judging me strictly on how I look and what my name is. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm loving, it. I'm loving it. hockey from home. She's the one. She's the one who doesn't doesn't dig the clowns. I, I I got no issue with them. Fucking cash it! I had a crazy vacation weekend though. With my bets was dope. Very fair tax. Ben Ramba. Everyone, Karaul, Miles Jones, Trey Ogden, Padilla, Carl Williams, 10 for 317. Cat that money, baby. Love it. Miles Jones, uh, Padilla, Carl Williams, Peyton Talbot, Ogden, 100 for 1,074. Cat that money, baby. Arizona, Gonzaga, North Carolina, Iowa State, uh, North Carolina State, Tennessee, Creighton, 20 for 218. Cat it, baby. <laughs> Nami Yunus round four five or by decision sixty for a hundred and dude you cleaned up last weekend holy shit base plant finish for Lindolfo Delegado on top rank man I knew that card was gonna be awesome I knew that card was gonna be awesome Jordan Wright Adam Vigil Estevez Freddie Rodriguez Shane Keith twenty five for hundred and eighty five bro you're just rolling in it. <laughs> It was all right when hiking in this mountain oasis thing with palm trees was chill. That sounds awesome, man. That sounds awesome. I'm a big hiker myself. I've, I've gone on even like like five-day hiking trips before. I did the West Coast Trail. Uh, did the Juan de Fuca Trail. Hope, hope to do the North Coast Trail someday as well. Oregon Coast would be sweet too. Nice. All right, Nathan. We got the next fight coming up here, guys. We got the next fight coming up here. We have Entenberg versus Vo. Mark Entenberg versus Van Vo. Oh my god, his name is Van Vo, bro. He must be from Florida. Not that I'm judging. I dig the Florida men. 
Best news articles ever feature Florida man. Shout out to the podcast, Dumb People Town. <laughs> I need to come back from being down on the cards. Wow. Hey, what's up, Western Mass Climber, Team Alpha Male Fighter? Just got a sus winning your favorites promotion, Herb Dean Ref. And ah, that's why, that's why. Yeah, a lot of the Alpha Male guys seem to do very well in your eye favor. Crazy Clown, you knew what you were doing when you chose the name. Hoggy, stop thinking about the old clown then. I was on the Rose decision. Nathan Hogg, this represents my alcoholism. Not that I condone that, but cheers. G uh, GCN picks, it's been awesome so far. We saw a great five round scrap in the last fight. Knockout on the on the on the prelims. I mean, it's been good so far, but it's been good. Braves got it done, by the way. Won my unit back glad because they were down two when you made that bet, right? Uh, I had to join the MMA expert stream for the Nama Yunus fight. Holy cow, it was a cesspool. Never again. I was the only person in the chat who felt Rose was winning an MMA expert thought Rose lost. Yeah, I thought Rose won too. I, everyone was like, oh man, uh, she, she lost. I was like, how? The other chick did nothing. Rebus did nothing, dude. She was swinging at air. You're mowing the air, Ran. You're mowing the air. I was losing my freaking mind. Yeah, I, I actually, when I when I left the NCHC finals, I went to a, I went to a bar for for a beer and, and some food, and I watched the last three fights. And yeah, I thought I thought Rose won too. And I'm the biggest Rose hater in all of in the entire MMA fandom. I'm the biggest Rose hater, and I'm man enough to uh, to say that she won that fight. Not that I can tell him that, but cheers. <laughs> well, now you're shunning Haw crazy clown. Don't listen to Hawk from home. You're welcome here. Awesome. And yeah, they literally went down two less than a minute after I made the bet. Legit thought it was jinx today, but all even for UFC tomorrow. Let's go. Let's go. Mike V, this is why we need you, Isha, so we don't have to go to the weak ass companions. <laughs> No, I, I love the support, guys, and I love how our community are somewhat level-headed. <laughs> you guys are more level-headed than me. I literally made a book for my friend, and the clown was in the book, and I deleted him out of the book because he's just so creepy. <laughs> no problem, buddy. Cheers. I mean, Curse God, we definitely need to give him one day off per year, so that's his day off. <laughs> oh, I went and watched some sports... Got out, uh, watched a great hockey game. I actually watched um, Denver Denver College play uh, Omaha. Omaha lost, and then I got to see Omaha lose again last night to the Gophers. But yeah, sometimes life is going to get in the way of streaming, but I'm still here. Managed to squeeze in some ACA, squeeze in some BKFC. I got some dinner thing tomorrow night, but I should be home to catch the end of UFC. And if not, we'll do some pancreas. But yeah, for the most part, for the most part, I don't, I don't skip UFCs unless, unless I honestly like am not at home. By the way, I'm watching LFA. Check out Joshua Perrier or per Pereira. He looked seriously good tonight. Better than some UFC fighters. Fair enough. Yeah, I still stream at least at least 15 hours a week. On a good week, it's like uh, like 30. Oh, bro, is Carlos Condit in his corner? Enberg is Carlos Condit in his corner. Uh, Vo is zero and two in BKFs or in uh, bare knuckle, by the way. Entenberg is one and O. Oh. Mark Entenberg has Carlos freaking Condit in his corner. Um, he has had one amateur. MMA fight and that's it. He got a he scored a KO TKO in the first round against Derek Gates uh last year at BKC 48. His opponent Van Vo 4 and 11 in pro MMA. Eesh. Um and he's had two bare knuckle fights like I said which he lost one in BKFC where he lost in the third round via knockout and he lost a decision in toe the line one. Um Seemed to get. He's also had a Muay Thai fight and kick. And he's fought kickboxing a couple times. He even fought an EFC one back in 2012. He seems to lose most of his fights via ugh, via knockout and submission in MMA. 
No submissions here in BKFC. Um, I'm going with Buddy who has Carlos Condit in his corner. I'm going with Buddy who has Carlos Condit in his corner. The natural born killer, ladies and gentlemen. One of my favorite, favorite fighters growing up was Carlos Condit. All right, round one's coming up here. Get back to the play-by-play here in a minute. I'm taking the guy with the ink torso. I was watching a different fight companion as well. I was missing you too, Isha, the companion. I was in was a bunch of drunk guys yelling crazy things. They usually are good. Yo, I missed you guys too, honestly. All right, I'll catch up with some of the comments here in a bit, but I don't want to miss the action round one. Let's get, Let's get it on. Man, Edinburgh looks so much bigger than Vo. He is so much bigger than Vo. I know, I know Vo is employing the low stance here. Left jab by Vo. What the heck kind of hairdo is Vo? It's not even a full mohawk. It's like the reverse... Um, oh, who's the guy in the UFC with that friggin' rat fink? Why am I forgetting his name? One minute and 25 seconds on the clock. Big tuna time in LFA. He holds the second largest upset in Bellator history. Let's go. Yeah, the LFA card's really good. I will be at the LFA card uh, next Friday, by the way. Supporting our boy Alvin Guzzi Hines on the main card. One minute on the clock. Oh, a nice step in left by Edinburgh. One minute on the clock. Again, I'll get back to you guys' comments here in a sec. It's, tough. It, 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 it's tough for me to have one eye on the comments and one eye on the fight for BKFC because shit can happen so fast, right? Don't want to miss a knockout here. Left hand by Edinburgh. 45 seconds on the clock. Hockey from home, you'll be back. You'll be back. 35 seconds. I guarantee Hockey from home will be back. Said she was leaving like three times already. She'll be back. She'll be back. 30 seconds on the clock. Enberg switching stances. Night and day compared to the action in that previous fight. Nice. Left hook by Entenberg. Entenberg is landing the shot. I swear, Entenberg has thrown three shots and he's landed three shots. Vo hasn't landed a single shot yet. And that's going to do it for the first round. And yeah, Entenberg cut. Oh, he's already cut him too. He's already cut Vo under the right eye. And yeah, Vo didn't land a single strike on Entenberg in the first round. Going in the second round here. Let me try to catch up on some comments between rounds. Helps that he's a flyaway to the bar is low. Pub Sport Radio, if you've heard of him. Yeah, dude, actually, uh, I used to work with a couple of the guys from Pub Sport Radio. I worked with the Ice Guys, and I worked with... Um, he's no longer with Pub Sport Radio, but uh, the MMA... Oh, what's... Clint at the MMA podcast. I didn't work with him, but I worked with some of his colleagues on the hockey side of Pub Sports Radio. Um, most of them are pretty good guys. I really meant it when I said you really have a good commentary talent, in my opinion. Hey, appreciate you, man. Seriously, it means a lot. Trying to see who has and hasn't fought with times being wrong on DK is ass. Should talk about the fights, not people, person issues. Huh? What you talking about, Nathan? I'm digging this crazy clown guy. I hope we see them more. Yeah, dude, crazy clown's awesome. Yeah, he's used up all of his sick and personal days. <laughs> I'm a fan of Ernie Harwell, so it's a compliment. I respect the talent. Oh, man, appreciate you. All right, round two. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. One minute 55 seconds on the clock. And again, Vo has not landed a single punch. In the next right hand by Enberg, and he knocks down Vo, and Vo is pissed. Vo is pissed. What are you talking about, Willis? Clint is a great convo. Hey, what's up, Chris Cushman? What's going on, Chris? Thank you so much for joining. Yeah, Clint's a good guy. He's a big... I actually met him through the hockey community. I didn't even know he was an MMA guy at first. Then I found his podcast. And I was like, oh, shit. Because he's a big Arizona Coyotes fan. Woman in 20 seconds. Enberg won the first round because he actually landed some shots. Vo finally lands the left hand. I swear, Vo didn't land a single shot until then. One minute on the clock. Looking for that left uppercut is Enberg. Enberg, man, he's long, man. He's got, he's a, I mean, he's just bigger than Vo. Let's be perfectly honest. Overhand right by, Ent or Vo swinging a miss. 
straight left jab by Edinburgh. Edinburgh not really focused on the counters here. He's looking for that straight shot. Here's a left by Vo. A couple of feints by Edinburgh. Vo is biting on a couple of them. 35 seconds on the clock. Swing and a miss by Vo. Vo with the right and left. And he throws a left jab and misses. Man, Vo just cannot get in his range at all. Vo again swinging a miss, man. He's swinging at air. 15 seconds on the clock. Left by Vo. Not a lot of power behind that one. There's that counter left that Enberg's looking for. Final seconds of the second round. And that is it for the second round. Good display of respect between these two guys. All right, let's see where I'm at in these comments. Um, Vos Barber fell asleep while cutting his hair. Oh my goodness, that might be the one. I need Richie Miranda, Landy Ward, Mark Enberg, Ruben War, and Nick Corin for the legacy. Over under six and a half minutes. See you later, Hoggy. We'll see you in two minutes. Uh, no, you'll be back, Hoggy, from home. You'll be back. It's his home away from home. I'm really interested for your right favorites combat. There are four hundred dogs before the main event. That very legit chance to win. Spencer, Boother, Do Calder parlayed at plus uh, thirty seven hundred. Let's go, dude. Let's go. By the way, Ernie in the main event, great guy. Um, a bunch of his family actually messaged me. Uh, trying to link link him up with me for an interview. Um, I even messaged him back on Facebook and said I'd, I was happy to do an uh, interview him, but I uh, haven't heard from them. So hopefully, uh. I should reach back out if he wins tonight. A win or a loss, I'll reach back out. Anyways, round three, ladies and gentlemen. Yellow card for timidity. One minute, 37 seconds on the clock. Hey, you're the man, dude. Thank you, thank you. Again, I'll catch up on your guys' comments between rounds, between fights. Keep them coming, though. I always catch up. I always catch up. I just can't look away. I just can't look away when it's BKFC. Finally, Vo landed a shot because there's a little bit of a shiner under the left eye of Ettenberg, but it only takes one in this promotion. There's a nice step back left by Vo. Oh, a nice right hand by Ettenberg. One minute on the clock. Ettenberg again with the one-two left and a right. Look at the face of Vo, man. Look at the face of Vo. By the way, I know a lot of you are hitting a different kind of bowl. We're hitting the beer bowls here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. 50 seconds on the clock. Big shout out to the members here in the live chat too. Hope to see you guys again on Wednesday. I will be back on the membership stream on Wednesday, by the way. Shout out to Kyle for holding down the fort. Oh, a nice right hand by Vo. Vo rocked Edinburgh. Landed the left as well, right to the body. Now they're just swinging in the pocket. Edinburgh saying, let's go, let's go. This is the best round we've seen from Vo so far. Best round we've seen from Vo so far. Vo with the nice counter left. Here we go. He's finally found his range. It took him three rounds, but he found his range. Fifteen seconds on the clock. Looking for that right up. Got a nice left hand by Ettenberg, and Vo just screams at him with a freaking war cry after being tagged with the left. Nice right hand by Ettenberg, but Vo lands two, two right hands and a straight left. What a round! Honestly, Vo might take that round. Vo might take that round, ladies and gentlemen. Best round, best round for Vo thus far. I love Clint. I wish he was on the stream instead of what we had. Uh, more natural aura, Alex Pereira or Ilya, and for shits and giggles, more or Michael Jackson or Michael Jordan. Um, 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 Pereira because I'm more of a kickboxing guy, and um, oh, that's tough. Michael Jackson or Michael Jordan? Probably Michael Jordan. Even though I'm not a basketball guy, he's one of my favorite athletes of all time, and. Uh, but, uh, I mean, how can you not love the king of pop? For his music. For his music. Let's be perfectly clear. Oh, Shamona. Also, your favorite A1 combat starts at 10 p.m. Eastern. The 17 fights. Is it really going to 6.30 a.m. Eastern? I don't know. Is it rising? 
Oh, did you say that? Typology must be wrong. I think there were a lot of uh, amateur fights in the beginning, Mikey. I think there's a lot of amateur fights that weren't broadcasted. Looks like this Ben Parrish guy is about to get fucked up in LFA. All right, one minute and 49 Let's seconds on the clock in the fourth round. Nice right hand by Vo. Don't do this, Vo. The under six and a half hits. If you took it, you cash. So you love the king of pop. Guess CC has a new nickname. You can call me the king of pop. <laughs> One minute and 23 seconds on the clock. Shamona. I also love how South Park uh, wrote Michael Jackson. <laughs> I keep thinking just from the side view, Edinburgh just reminds me of Paul Craig, man. One minute on the clock. Oh, there's a right hand by Vo. Just graze Edinburgh, didn't land clean. Oh, there's a nice left by Vo. See, I told you Hockey from Home would be back. 43 seconds on the clock. Oh, there's another left by Vo. Now that Vo's found his range, he's landing some great shots here. I mean, this this might be a start of a comeback. I know Edinburgh dropped him in, what was it, the, the second round? Let's see if Vo can get a knockdown of his own. There's another left by Vo. So far, Vo's winning this round. I got Vo winning the third, and I got him winning the fourth right now. I keep missing the live scoring because I'm looking at the chat, so my apologies for that. Another right by Vo. Final seconds of the fourth round. There's a right hand by Ettenberg, but yeah, no, Vo's going to take that one too, I imagine. That's the end of the fourth round. We're going the distance again. <laughs> what an opposite card from the, the last BKFC fight night where seemingly everyone was getting knocked out left, right, and center. So I'm um, behind on some of your comments, guys, but uh, like I said, I'm keeping my eyes glued on these events because you never know what can happen. I don't understand how these guys in BKFC don't break their hands every single fight. It would hurt so damn much. Uh, so damn bad punching someone's forehead with your bare knuckles. Ben Parrish guy about to get fucked up and his brother. Uh, do apologize for earlier comments. Do not remember what they were in response to. Oh, no worries, Nathan. No, no need to apologize, dude. We all good. We all good. My last bet on this top rank card is a dog shot on Yokatsta Valley. Plus 175 for the undisputed strawweight title. Hope you cash it. Bro, ask for the reverse rat tail and pure skin everywhere else. Strawweight in boxing is 105, by the way. Nice. All right, I'll check it out. Hockey from home uh, later. MMA needs strawweight 105 women's MMA. Uh, Adam weight. Adam weight. Yeah. All right. Fifth and final round. Then, then I'll really get caught up in your guys' comments because I know I'm getting behind okay. by the minute. I know, dude. Paul Craig is just a mythical creature. He either gets his ass kicked or ends up submitting guys <laughs> in crazy fashion. One minute and 35 seconds on the clock. MMA math doesn't make sense because Paul Craig exists, ladies and gentlemen. One minute and 26 seconds on the clock. There's a nice counter right by Ettenberg, but there's a right by Vo. Double left jab. It took a while for Vo to get in his groove, but he's looking good now. He's looking good now. And even if Vo wins this round, though, God, I mean, it might be a draw because Edinburgh got the knockdown in the second round for the 10-8, so we'll see. We'll see. 55 seconds on the clock. Edinburgh needs, Edinburgh needs to, to, to close out strong here. He needs to get this round. Put the nail in the coffin, so to speak. A couple feints by Edinburgh. Edinburgh with a straight left jab. It's hard to tell from this angle if those jabs that Edinburgh is throwing are, are landing. If they are, then I mean those are points. 36 seconds on the clock. Right by Edinburgh. That one I think was blocked by Vo. Edinburgh, look at that counter. Oh, beautiful left by Vo. Left and a right by Vo. Counter right by Edinburgh. Again, his shots aren't landing clean, though. His shots aren't landing clean. Fun fight, though. Fun fight. A lot more slower pace than the last one, but 
a little bit more technical with the striking here, especially by Entenberg. But as soon as Vo has got found his range, he's been thrown just like he is now. Final seconds of the fight. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We go the distance again. But look at the respect between these two guys. Unbelievable. This shit gives me chills, man. Like, look at... After you throw down bare knucks like they did. Wow, that shit gives me chills, man. That shit gives me chills. Like the only way I could throw bare knucks if I was like pissed off and wanted to hurt someone. You know what I mean? Like, like literally a street fight. It's crazy that they can turn it off uh, so quickly. You know what I mean? All right. I got a ton of comments to catch up on, so let's get to it. That's the seventh screenshot for the podcast. Uh, Lorenz destroyed it. Minus 165. Bro, this LFA ref is nuts. Uh, so scared. Top fight. South Park bangs everything. Paul Craig. Better see South Park or Simpson. Uh, I would say South Park is the better series, but the first, like, what was it? The first 10, 12 seasons of The Simpsons are awesome. But South Park just, it's just. Simpsons had a, had a high ceiling, but now it's a very low floor. Same kind of family guy. Family guy had a high ceiling but low floor. Whereas South Park, very high floor and really high ceiling. So I'm I'm, give, I'm taking South Park there. I think it is over. Crackhead does have a heart. Uh, I just got a great idea. Literally before you jump on stream, I'll play the video for you in the podcast. Does he beat Hill if Hill doesn't have an arm injury? Poton. I, I don't, I honestly, that one's tough for me to predict, man. Because I feel like Hill wa like will try to stand and bang with him. I don't know if he'll try to take him to the ground. But that might be the game plan, though, because, I mean, shoot, that's how... I mean, that, that's, that's the recipe for success against him. Okay, must have a devastating triangle. It's just a matter... Of how the fight goes, whether he can implement it or not. He could hold his ground. Ettenberg fumbled, fumbled that. That's going to be a draw. It's going to be a draw. Oh, never mind. Two judges have it for. All right. Mark Ettenberg won. Two judges gave it to him. One judge gave him a tie. Honestly, it could have been a tie. That 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 fifth round could have gone either way. And if the fifth round went for Vo, I had Vo winning three, four, and five. But Edinburgh got the knockdown in the second round, thus getting the 10-8. So uh, round three, four, and five, two of the judges had one of those rounds going to Edinburgh. If Vo wins, Legacy Parlay is dead as great grandpa. BKSC never disappoints, man. Honestly, one of my favorite promotions. Yeah, me too, dude. Me too. I was always told to go for the upper lip. Yo, Vulcan, I was just talking about you earlier. I was saying I was just uh, running down how we have so many people in our live chat and community who are uh, gearing up to, to be fighters, both amateurs and pros. Hope the training's going well, buddy. Yeah, we're drinking beers. I was saying, Vulcan, you guys might be hitting a different type of bowl tonight. I'm hitting the beer bowl. Uh, good to see you, my man. Good to see you. Family Guy peak was fucking peak. Yeah, now Family Guy's eh, I haven't seen it in years. Yeah, I haven't watched it in years either, but yeah. Like, what was it? Like, seasons 5 to, like, 12. Ah, 5 to, like, 11 of Family Guy were, were really good. Stewie's just such a savage, dude. Like, he is the best part of that show. I was going to hop on him, but I missed it watching Top Rank. Yeah, Volcan, uh, I know you been, haven't been in streams. I've explained it a lot. I've just been very, very busy this week. I'm going to try to sneak it in maybe later tonight or first thing tomorrow. It's just I'm I'm just been so busy, man. Uh, yeah, there's not really any, any other excuse other than, you know, work takes priority. And I had uh, I had to get a job for a client done today and yesterday and the day before. Uh, elbows are a nice bang. Futurama, oh, great deep. I love Futurama. I haven't watched the remake yet because I'm I'm scared. I hate remake shows. Futurama was awesome as well. Uh, I loved like the first half of Archer. I thought Archer was really good too. Paul Craig and Hill. Does Craig win if Hill doesn't hurt his arm? Oh, oh, that's what you're talking about. Oh, uh, probably, probably. Parlay lives, a legacy. I thought it was a draw, but not much happened in the fifth round. To be fair, to be fair. 
Uh, Yao, could you bet on Parrish? His only win in the last like four fights was a guy suspended on topology for essentially fighting to lose on purpose. Uh, Joe, what's up, Joe? Good to see you, buddy. Let's go kill shot. Thanks, brother. Yes. Uh, debut this year, 24, 2024. I hope hell yeah, dude. Yeah, it will keep me updated on the promotion as if uh, if it's televised anywhere, you know we're going to be covering it. But yeah, sorry I, didn't, I wasn't able to do my UFC predictions last week. We are going to squeeze them in before UFC uh, tomorrow. I promise whether it's after this stream late tonight or if I have to like record it and post it or like we're, we're going to get them out there Vulcan. But yeah, I've just been, I got a late opportunity in the month to do a job and man's got to pay rent. So I jumped on it. I'm a freelance video audio editor and I do consulting and run some people's YouTube channels, like media consulting and run people's YouTube channels and um, a client of mine uh, had me do a lot, kind of a last minute job, and it was very, very taxing as far as the time going into it this week. So all, my my full attention had to go to that. Who do I think should fight Austin Trout next? Ooh, that's a great question. That's a great question. I'm gonna defer the question to Arthur though, because he's way more plugged in than I am. But uh, yeah, that uh, I I was. I didn't want him to win that last one. I didn't want him to win the last one. But Archer, what, what do you think? Is Archer is way more of a pulse. Like, I follow the league, but I don't follow the league. Like, I follow UFC, Bellator, PFL, and Ryzen. And I'll be the I'll be the first one to admit that. But um, Bar uh, Archer, what do you think? I don't know, uh, Paris is fighting tonight. You got any action on that fight? You're really positive too. That makes a difference these days. I just love. I love this. I love doing this, man, and I love our community. So nothing but love, nothing but love. The only time I get angry is my fucking internet. Uh, we're getting bugs out. It's all right. Work is important. Keep going strong, bro. What is your take on Ebo Aslan versus Turkal? I don't think Anton Turkal is good at all. Um, so I'm going Aslan. Aslan. Great name. Uh, I think I think Anton Turkal is 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 not very good. So I'm I'm always picking against him. Uh, that 70 show was goaded until you found out the deep secrets, dude. Oh, that's another great one. So I had a game in college. Whenever we were watching that, me and the boys, if they smoked, we had to smoke. Didn't matter if we had an exam in 20 minutes. Didn't matter if we were going out with the girl. It didn't matter if your parents were coming to visit. If if the boys were watching that 70 show and they started their circle, we had to start a circle. And it was a it was a blessing and a curse. But yeah, I love that 70 show. Uh, talk about goaded super troopers and gold member to my favorites to this day to this day super you know what here this might be a hot take super troopers isn't my favorite broken lizard movie i think club dread is better now that's a hot take that's a hot take but club dread is, is my favorite out of all the uh the broken lizards uh, i didn't know that they're brothers now in uh venezuela to this day Magician getting it done tonight. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> what up? What up? Give them time to heal and get some stank for the fight. I had no idea who you were. I was on the BKFC channel and the prelim stopped and you showed up in the algorithm. Hey, well, I'm glad you found us, man. And like I said, we do live fight companions every single weekend. We stream up to 30 hours a week of fights, man. This week, probably not 30 hours, but last week we did nine hours of K1 uh, on Tuesday, we did Ryzen. We did Rise El Dorado. Fuck, last week was amazing. He wants some ass and some land. Let's go. I'm not betting the Aslan Turkal fight. The majority of my parlays, but I did throw some parlays with Turkal because he already beat Aslan. If he survives the first few minutes, he'll mount and finish like their last fight. Yeah, Aslan's not very good either, but I just, I got principles. I cannot, I cannot pick Turkal. <laughs> that 70 show really, dude, that 70 show is awesome, man. That 70 show is awesome. Definitely one of the better uh, sitcoms ever made. Uh, for Trout, I'm hearing they're going to do a rematch with Pal or Palomino if there's a dude named Carlos Trinidad Snake who's 4-0 at 165. Well, there you go. There you go. Thanks, Arthur. Appreciate you. But the snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs> oh, I thought it was awesome, dude. I thought it was awesome. Uh, I got good bets on Aslan. I am Turkish, too. I listened to his interview, saw a lot of points where I thought uh, Ibo wins this one. Like Ibo wanted the rematch for four years. Hey, cheers, buddy. Cheers. And look at that. We caught up on comments round one. Let's get it on. Get it. Two and a half men is a good sitcom. Just really popular. And already throwing big shots here are the big boys, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like 
Lester landing some shots to the body right now. Richardson, a couple big uppercuts. One minute and 38 seconds on the clock. Ref separates him from the clinch. I'll add the ticker to the bottom of the screen here in just a sec. I didn't pick a winner for this one. I didn't pick a winner. Both of them making their debut. We'll go with Lester. Screw it. Oh, big left hand swing and a miss by Lester. Another hook by Lester. A couple shots to the body. Covering up his Richardson. Man, this has been fun so far. The big boy is going at it here. Was he light heavyweights? One minute on the clock. 55 seconds. A lot of clinch fighting here. Let's see if the ref separates them here again. Yep. Damn, man, seen Volcan in the wall. Yeah, it's great to have Volcan in the chat here. I used to watch WWE when the Iron Sheik and Hulk Hogan was fighting. Shout out to the Iron Sheik. Rest in peace. One of the best Kenny vs. Spenny episodes has the Iron Sheik in it. Who can be the best pro wrestler? Highly recommend going and watching it. It is on YouTube. Oh, a nice right hand by Lester. And a right hand by Richardson. Richardson, another right hand there as they evade the clinch. Oh, another double right by Richardson. Lester slowing down. Lester slowing down. And Lester falls to the ground. Dude, Lester's done. Lester's done. Lester's back up to his feet. And look at that hematoma on the left side of Lester. He's got a cut there. Dude, Lester doesn't look like he's ready to go. The fight is over. The fight is over, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Lester, he didn't have it left in him. He didn't have anything left in him. What a great start for Lester, but an even better finish for Richardson, who scores the victory there. Back to the quick finishes here in BKFC. Wow. Wow. Frank the Tank, old school. Sure you said that right. Volking in the chat. Dude, I just can't wait for Volkan to start fighting, man. I can't wait to cover his fights and do fight companions. I haven't seen Son MMA in a while either, but I know he was training hard. Um... Jelani as well. Jelani was straight up in in Thailand, like training, because he does he he competes in uh, Muay Thai tournaments. So I know he's been away uh, training, literally in Thailand, um, and competing. Oh my god, look at that hematoma on the left side, <laughs> dude! That hematoma is, is taking on a life of its own. Wow, what a fun fight there! Quick, short, sweet, but fun. Again, big shout out to everyone in the live chat here. Guys, I know it's a lofty like goal, but we're trying to get to 40 likes on the video. It's a lofty one here. We had like over 30 people in the live chat at one point. If all 25 of you smash that like button right now, we will get we will get damn close, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get damn close. So smash, smash, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. So you never miss a live stream. We do Fight Companions every single weekend covering an array of combat sports promotions, ladies and gentlemen. From the top tier UFC all the way to freaking Muradov Fight League that is literally streamed on a phone in a YMC. CA. It's not actually a YMCA. We're going Arab YMCA. Unbelievable stuff. We stream it all, ladies and gentlemen. We are fight junkies here. And if I can fit into my schedule, we will stream them all. Let's go war. Frank the Tank, more like Hank the Tank's in the house. <laughs> Guys, let's go to war. Smash that like, everybody. I'm new here and I subbed. He's good. Give him a chance. Dude, Crazy Clown. I know Crazy Clown is part of our community now. I know Crazy Clown's going to be coming back for more fight streams, man. I went five or five on my picks today. Dude, Hank the Tank must be in a great mood. Let's go. I'm glad you went five for five on your picks today, buddy. And Hank, thank you so much for joining us this morning for ACA. Shout out to everyone who joined us this morning for ACA. It's good to see Dylan, the king. Big Red, who's uh, been streaming as well. I didn't comment last night, uh, Dylan, but I had, uh, I did have your stream on for a little bit when I was exporting some files for a client before I had to put the headphones on and get back to editing. And by the way, guys, I want to give a sincere apology. I know I had more fight streams lined up for today. This is one, I mean, I can't believe I even snuck four hours of time to do ACA with how busy I was, but I'm glad I did get to do it. So um, the next couple weeks are going to be 
are going to be tough. As in, like, there's going to be some moving targets. Uh, I have some commitments coming up. Next weekend's my birthday, and my asshole friends want to take me out for my birthday. So hopefully I'll be back in time to cover as many uh, as many fights as I can. I'm literally not even going to drink with them. I'm just going to know. I'm going to drive you guys home so I can drive myself home and watch fights. Fuck a birthday party. This is more important. So uh, I'm really trying my best, but they they bought tickets to a, a Minnesota Wild game. But luckily, it's earlier in the day. So I can go early in the day and then come back and then stream. But uh, yeah, fuck all that outside noise. All I care about is hanging out and watching fights with you guys. All right. Um, so there's a little bit of a break. There's a little bit of a break here, which is good, which is good. I can catch up on some of the comments. Hey, thank you, buddy. Really appreciate you. Really appreciate you. Uh, crazy clown. This is literally the best MMA channel on YouTube. It's not even close. Ah, oh, Dylan. Thank you, man. D Dylan's far too kind. Dylan's far too kind. Love fights, dude. It's my life, man. It's literally my life. Dylan's 1-0 against Lost Souls. Good, man. Fuck that guy. That guy went after Andrew B, dude. That guy went after Andrew B. You don't fuck with Andrew B. And we will never forget that. I will, like, I'm sorry. And I know he's an up and coming YouTuber. I know he puts on some good streams. I know Eagle MMA rated him higher than us, but uh, I'm sorry. Whether, whether, he, whether he blows up or not, Lost Souls MMA will always be dead to us because of him going after Andrew B. You do not go after Andrew B and then just nonchalant expect us to forgive you. Fuck that, dude. I will never support Lost Souls, ever. You guys are too kind. You guys are too kind. Uh, well, how selfish of your friends celebrating on your birthday? I know. Fuck them, right? Uh, Jason Knight versus Artem Lobov made me a BKFC fan. Dude, the goat Artem Lobov. Choo-choo, motherfucker. You can't stop the Siberian Express. Alicia, I was on a mad one on there. If you were there, I hope you were in it when I was comp complimenting you. I wasn't, but I mean, you compliment me all the time. I don't, I don't need to hear all the compliments. I don't need to hear all the compliments. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. I, I forget what you were going off about. I had to like, you're just answering the chat. You're answering. Oh, you know what? I did hear a little bit of it. I did hear a little bit, but you're just answering some of the questions. Denial. I love what Denial is. Uh, he's like, I'm always the one in the chat. Whenever Dylan's asking if anyone's here, I'm there just not commenting. I'm like, Denial, you're a fucking menace. Uh, need Ruben War and Nick Korig in BKFC and Landry Ward on Richie Miranda and LFA to cash an eight leg plus 456. I'm thriving, Volcan. Where you been, my guy? The soda wild game will be so much fun. Yeah, it will be. It will be. You don't mess with Andrew B. Live, dude. I've been working and training, brother. You should, should have seen how bad I brutalized Lost Soul and Eagle MMA. Nice. I don't mind. Actually, I, I have nothing against Eagle MMA. Um, I, I think I think his his stick is actually pretty good, and and his editing is is come a long way. Um, so I don't mind him. I don't mind him. I mean, he loves Rigo a little bit too much, but that's okay. I, I don't judge. I don't judge. <laughs> um, but yeah, Lost Souls. Like I said. For me, Lost Souls, you go after Andrew B, it's like putting your hand in the cage. It's like if you're Ro Car uh, Rose versus Carla. You're fucking dead to me, Lost Souls. Dead to me. Told you you'd be back. Uh, I missed LFA. Did you see my boy, Fake Sugar Sean? Who's your boy, Fake Sugar Sean? What's up, No Chill Man? By the way, guys, go subscribe to No Chill MMA. Awesome upcoming you or awesome new YouTube channel. Um, making some great videos, doing fight companions as well. And we finally got him a subscription to the channel. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Shout out to you, no for all the support. Made them quit, baby. The Siberian Nate the train. Uh, City Life infinitely clear of lost souls. Fuck the rankings. <laughs> Sounds good, Hoggy from home. Over under six and a half minutes. Eagle MMA was defending losses, so you had to get dragged. Okay, yeah. Hey, Eagle MMA, if you're here, if you're watching this, how the fuck are you going to defend losses when he went after Andrew B? That's fucked up, dude. That's fucked up. I think Corey McKenna has the reach advantage against Artem. 
<laughs> exactly that. <laughs> Comment of the night in the running for Indeed. Among my inspiration in life was comedian Red Fox and entertainer Howard Stern. Yeah, dude, Howard Stern's awesome. Hank, you missed the part where Lost Soul tried reasoning with me and asking why we can't just get along. Oh my goodness. I got I got to pop in for one of those streams next. Uh, I've been lacking so bad with the videos. I should have one tomorrow. And an April Fool's video. Oh God, I'm scared of April Fool's. Ugh. My roommate... Let's just say last year's April Fool's was not a fun day. My roommate takes that shit way too seriously. If we just show Mally fight today, he's his twin. Yo, what's up, Andrew? Good to see you, buddy. Up at 50 on the under. Andrew B, he's a, he's a, a very loyal, and he's the first subscriber on this channel. Very loyal, and he's the first ever subscriber on this channel. And uh, let's just say, like, if, if you pick on Andrew B, you're an asshole. And Lost Souls, he was picking on Andrew B. Honey Hayden is his name. Uh, maybe because he was talking bull behind your back. Isha Gangster for that one. Let him know that boy Lost Souls was getting chummy with the enemy during wartime. Weak men do that when they feel close to death. Yes, yes. yes. The motherfucker. Fucking Lost Souls. Fuck him. He went after Andrew B, so fuck that guy. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. I will never, ever forgive Lost Souls for what he did to Andrew B. Ever. I don't care if he hits a million subscribers and we're on a me and we're still at a measly 9,000. I will never give that guy credit ever. He's fucking dead to me. One minute, 33 seconds on the clock. We got Coca versus war. Ladies and gentlemen, let me update the ticker on the bottom of the screen here. Give me one sec. And then we'll get right back to the play by play. Nice right hand by war. I'm getting fired up here talking about lossels. So much I can't stand the guy. Oh, and a nice right hand by war. Oh, and Coca falls to the ground. I thought it was a slip at first, but he got tagged before he fell. He did freaking pirouette before he fell down. The pink chunks are crazy. Oh, I love it. The ref, Coca, you want to fight? Yeah. 45 seconds on the clock. Big overhand swing and a miss by War. He ends up falling to the ground. Right hand by Coca. Coca with the left swing and a miss. 35 seconds on the clock. I'll get back to you guys' comments here in a sec. Swing and a miss with that left hook. Oh, a nice counter left and a right hand by War. Knocks Coca on his ass. Coca seen the Tweety Birds, ladies and gentlemen. Coca seen the Tweety Birds. He can't even get back up to his feet. Oh, this is done. This is done. It is all over. It is all over. War came for war, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's go. I know you guys are hitting some different types of bowls tonight. I know Dylan's hitting the tobacco. He's hitting the American spirit. We're hitting the beer bowls tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. Let's fucking go indeed, War. Keep that war cry going. Calvert Smart. Yeah, Honey Hayden, Google this clown. Just look what he looks like. Hey, one sec, one sec. What's his name? Honey Hayden? Honey Hayden MMA. Wait, he's a YouTube channel? I thought you said he was a fighter. Yo, he has a YouTube channel too. Oh, the O'Malley looking Lakers ass motherfucker. He's fun ECC. That's funny because I've been seeing that picture of him circulate Twitter. He has a YouTube channel as well. He's got 10 followers or 27 followers. Do I subscribe? He literally looks like he's just ripping off O'Malley. I mean, he looks like O'Malley. So should I subscribe to him? Yes or no? Let me know, chat. I'd rather support him than Lost Souls, I'll tell you that much. Dylan the City Light Project vs. Eagle MMA, Lost Souls Crips vs. Blood. Like I said, I I'm disappointed that Eagle MMA is giving any love to Lost Souls because I actually I actually like Eagle MMA. I like his stick. I, 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 I like what he's doing. His editing is getting a lot better, like I said. 
Um, but yeah, Lost Souls, I will, I, I will, I will give praise. The only thing to is because someone who grinds and works hard, I will, I will respect anyone who who's on the grind and works hard as well. And you know, Lost Souls has been putting a lot of content out there. But again, bro, you go after Andrew B. Fuck you. At the end of the day, I will never forgive him. I can't sit through uneducated prediction video like Eagle and Mayor Rigo or other sons. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. I like I like Rigo's comedy videos, and I like Eagle's comedy videos as well. I guess tier list. I don't I don't necessarily watch all their other videos, and every now and then I'll I'll jump in Rigo's live stream because him and I are homies. Gansko is a certain kind of intellectual disability. Opposed of the world up and the lower bitch ripped him apart for nothing, even though he knew. There you go. There you go. Thank you for describing that. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't necessarily want to try to form it in the most. Anyways, I'm glad Dylan uh, described it there. Those teeth, hell yeah, money. This man Coco really has a corn back tattoo. I need war. Well, war got it, man. He's an animal. Honey Hayden Russell legacy. Hitting all sorts of balls tonight. Let's go, baby. Ben Parrish lost. Oof. I was just going to watch it, but thank you very much for your commentary. Oh, Crazy Clown. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Crazy Clown, I hope to see you on more streams, buddy. The community loves you. Other than Hockey from Home, who's scared of you, the community loves you, dude. And I do, too. You've been a great addition to tonight's stream. Same with Punchy Mango. Um, all of you guys are fucking awesome. Thank you so much. You guys have really... This This has been such a great stream so far. This has been such a fun live chat, man. I got a blunt lit as well. I got I to gotta get some backwoods for my next uh, for my next purchase. But like I said, I've been, I've been off the cannabis for a few weeks now. It's been good. A little clarity. Also can't afford any right now. Um, but next month, when that YouTube money from April kicks... Or from March kicks in. Thank you, guys. Chris Kush, Mikey P, HM, Dylan, everybody who donated the, this last month. I mean, you guys literally like helped me out so much. You you have no idea. Well, f some of you have an idea, but most of you don't. So thank you. Da, 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 da. Glad you hang with the big tune as my boy. I went over to Lost Souls just to drop a dislike for your boy and you based. Oh yes. Yes, I've been disliking all the videos. That sucks, man. We all work. That doesn't excuse bad behavior. Uh, yo, what's up, JC? Are you gonna watch the the Super Bond card, bro? You better believe it. I am missing. I am missing Super Bond fight again. Actually, I don't think I even missed. Uh, I don't think I've ever missed a Super Bond card since we've been streaming but jc it's great to see you buddy and i'm i'm sorry i haven't been able to do the the last few friday fights i've just been fridays have just been so tough for me man to to do. i've been waking up early to get work done and today i was able to squeeze in aca but uh, i will get back on the friday fights train soon i promise you buddy i promise by the way jc one of our loyal one championship fans who joins us uh on this channel weekly, JC's been, I mean, JC's been a subscriber first, like before we had a thousand subs, even it's a big shout out to JC 27 followers. He's not really a YouTuber. He's trying to be a YouTuber. You got to get a check from YouTube, even a hundred AdSense check to be a YouTube, to be fair, to be fair, 75% pick rate preserved. Told law. So I'd pay for his first class ticket to fly him. From his literal underground outside access only windowless hobbit hole to a five-star DC hotel. If he fights me for a round, what do you think he said? I think he uh, bitched out. He laughed like a madman. No, Crazy Clown is going to be here every single stream. Hawk from home. Crazy Clown is going to be here every single stream. Crazy Clowns are, are one of our new community members. Nice to have you aboard. That kids are like five foot four. Dylan, I think he's 15. He's super ignorant. Yeah, he's super ignorant. He was, dude, like, and I'm, I'm like not even being tongue in cheek. Like, he went after Andrew B. What kind of asshole goes, and, goes after Andrew B? Just in time to celebrate 420. Let's go. 
Uh, you should watch the Super Bowl and card next week. There will be a one arm Canadian Muay Thai fighter. Yes. Uh, Shotree uh, signed a one arm fighter. I hear he has a great left hook. Uh, who would you fight, Prime Mike Tyson or Prime Anderson Silva? Oh, fuck. Well, it, dep <laughs> it depends how I want to get murdered. Do I want to get murdered via uppercut or hook? Or do I want to get murdered by freaking front kick to the face? Hmm. Probably Anderson Silva, just because like I'm more of a fan of his, so it might feel just a little bit better getting murdered by uh, someone who you're a fan of. So probably Anderson Silva. He's 27 years old. That makes it even sadder. You should host BKFC Knuckle Mania for oh, I will, buddy. I will. Don't you worry. I will. Think Perry takes out Alves? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Oh, come on, BKFC. BKFC's uh stream on there and okay, there we go. We're back. We're back. Yeah, no, we're we're definitely gonna be doing Knuckle Mania 4. We did Knuckle Mania 3, and we had like at one point, I think we had like a hundred people in the live chat, and BKFC themselves, the BKFC YouTube channel joined our live chat and was loving what we were doing, which is cool. Uh, I'm a huge bare knuckle boxing fan, MMA fan, and I'm one of the biggest Detroit Lions and Tigers fans on earth. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, what about Red Wings? Are you a Detroit Red Wings fan? I'm a big hockey guy over here, and the Red Wings are under Stevie Y, man. They're gonna be they're gonna be Tampa Bay Lightning 2.0 in a couple years. Just just wait and see. He tried to reason with me and obviously said no, he doesn't wanna, obviously. Now that's two challengers who uh because Phony turned you down and Lost Soul turned you down. Roar, Lions, roar. Never joining you live again. I'll dislike your stream because you crazy clowny shit. Okay, well, now, now I'm pissed off. You're going to dislike my stream? All right, whatever, Hockey. Go do your thing. Hockey went from the biggest supporter to now disliking our stream. That's crazy, Hockey from home. That's absolutely insane. But you do you. Goodbye. Thank you for all the support. but. If if that's how if that's how you're gonna go, then we're leaving on bad terms. <laughs> really, hockey from home? Oh man. Hey, sorry about that, hockey from home. Dislike away, but uh, you're hurting the stream doing that. You're hurting the stream doing that. Uh, Nick Corrigan, BKFC, and Landry Ward and Richie Miranda in LFA to cash the eight leg plus four six five. Let's go. <laughs> hockey from home went from like full supporter to heel. Minus 225, minus 520, and minus 700 left. He's uh, 27 is genetics are fucked, but I guess it's his personal choice that really make him pathetic. 169 videos, but still just talks to a 144p camera. Gross. I think he just uses his like uh, computer webcam. Who would last longer against Prime Chuck Liddell? Who would you last longer? Prime Chuck Liddell or Pereira? Oh, fuck. That's a good... Hmm. Uh, I mean... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe Pereira, if I can pull his legs under from under him before he gets back up and just fucking... Uh, but even then, Pereira... Oh, man. Because Chuck, you can't take down. Chuck had amazing takedown defense, and he's going to uppercut you on your freaking entry. Pereira is just going to kick the shit out of you and then kill you with that left hook. So, I don't know. Maybe one second more Pereira. Who knows, though? I mean, Pereira's so much bigger. I mean, they're both so much bigger than me. I don't know. That's a, that's a terrible question, dude. They would both kill me. They would both kill me. Uh, let's go. Cole Ring. Get it. Kill shot. <laughs> Have you read the double header for one in Denver? Dude, it looks so awesome. I wish it was zero subscribers. Hockey has uh, colorophobia, the fear of clowns. You were talking about my subscriber count. I have 27 subs against my wishes. I want zero. I love the name of your of your uh of your streams. Don't subscribe, don't like. <laughs> Dislikes helps the algorithm. Yeah, yeah. Run away and never return. I was talking about Wish O'Malley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hockey can't leave. You know, I think hockey's going to come back. I think hockey's going to come back. 
Going with the underdog, Mech Elroy here. Even though you did YouTube, just realize. I'm just kidding. I'll take a break from your channel because the Crazy Clown will be back in eight months. Well, Crazy Clown will be here in eight months. Uh, it ain't mean me. Uh, I've never been able to get into hockey back in the day because back then Detroit had Barry Sa Sanders, the Bad Boy Pistons, the 84 Tigers, and 2006 Kenny Rogers Detroit Tigers with series. Crazy Clown, I'm sorry, but the Detroit Red Wings back there were the best team in the National Hockey League, dude. You're, you're telling me Datsuk, Zetterberg? I mean, what? Dude, back then, that, those were like some of the best Detroit teams, some of the best teams in NHL history, buddy. So I'm sorry, you have to throw the Detroit Red Wings into that mix. You have to throw the Detroit Red Wings into that mix. Dude, Datsuk is one of the greatest hockey players to ever play the game, man. If you if you take your iPhone out right now and ask Siri, who is the magic man? It will say Pavel Datsuk. Well, maybe not this current update, but it used to. I'm getting fired up because I love hockey so much. But I'm just saying, if you're going to throw that example out. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. It's a banger and a nice left hook. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Coring. Beautiful big left hook on McElroy. It looked like he was going to knock him straight out. One minute and 35 seconds on the clock, and he gets the count. He's back at it, and Coring knocks him down again. The fight is over. The fight is over. I didn't even have time to put the ticker on the bottom of the screen, ladies and gentlemen. There was barely anything to call. There was barely anything to call. It is all over. Oh my God, dude. What the fuck, bro? Oh my God. Oh my God. That's the beautiful than the motherfucker. Oh my God. This guy's a straight up Viking. This guy's a straight up Viking. Oh my God. Sorry, Chris. I didn't mean to like attack you with that. I'm just saying, if you're going to give the, the, those examples and not include the Detroit Red Wings, that's crazy, man. That's crazier than the clown that you are. I'd wrestle prayer once I see Red Bro. It's over. <laughs> I don't sis, I don't ever open my channel. There's nothing to see. Took a lot of my time having a full-time job back then. Okay, that, there we go. That's a better excuse. That's a better excuse. No, and hey, I'm just teasing, man. I, I'm I'm Canadian. I got Don Cherry on desk. So, like, obviously, I'm biased towards hockey. I'm obviously, I'm biased towards hockey. Hit that like, everyone. Shit, I've got solid eight subscribers. Well, Anthony, here, let me make it nine. Boom! Anthony's got a solid nine subscribers now. And on your... Yeah, there are you know, ten subscribers, bro. Anthony's channel's growing. Even the people who aren't chatting, I'm talking to you. My lives are solely to talk to most of y'all and the Discord. I love it, man. The lives have been fun. Sea Life Project is a drug that hockey can't quit. Hockey's next appearance uh, will be through Isha's door. <laughs> That one, Mike, uh, Scott Mitchell season was promising. I need a break from crazy clowns. Dude, hockey, you're discriminating against the clowns here, hockey. I hope you know that. Now, fair enough, hockey. I'm sorry you're scared of clowns, but I ain't going to kick crazy clown here for being a fan of the channel. That makes no sense. Uh, Rigo keeps bringing people into my streams and raiding me. Aw, Rigo showing some love. Ecorn, come on, man. Show me why you're minus 700. Dude, he destroyed him. All right. Well, it's unfortunate, Hockey, especially since you have a membership. And now you ain't going to be using it, but you do you, Hawk from home. You do you. I had to stop the MMA Experts channel from doing the same. He's out cold. How is he up? Uh, you better go to Denver. Card has stamp and super left. For God's sakes, bro. I just, I don't, like... <laughs> I just can't afford it, man. I want to, but it's it's literally in like a month. There's no way I can budget for a flight or a road trip to Denver. I wish. Trust me, I wish. Someday, someday. Like a plank, two legs left. Two greatest hockey players of all time are Bob Probert and Darren McCarty. Dude, so you do know your hockey. Yeah, Bob Probert, rest in peace. One of the best to ever do it. As far as fight. 
How the fuck do you get up from that first knockdown? Just need two in LFA. Zay, what's up, Zay? Oh, oh, man, I don't have time to get through my predictions here tonight. I'm not going to lie, man. Um, I am going to post a predictions video. I mean, you can ask me you can ask me specific matchups, but uh, like, Zay, I can't go over the whole card right now, man. Those predictions videos of mine take like an hour. I don't have an hour between fights to do it, my man. But uh, Zay, thank you so much for returning as Zay returns yet again. Good to see you, brother. Um, ask me any specific matchups, and, and I'm down to talk about them, but I will be posting a predictions video. It might be a late live stream tonight. It might be early tomorrow morning. Um, these last two weeks have just been crazy. I'm sorry for the regulars who join us for the for those live streams. I'm really sorry I haven't been able to do them the last two weeks. Again, uh, life has got in the way, and you know, yeah, just life has got in the way. But I promise you, I will get those predictions to you guys before UFC tomorrow. Um, but yeah, Zay, by all means, ask any ask any specific matchup, and I'm happy to uh, happy to answer them. But I just I, I I admittedly cannot go through the whole card right now. Uh, he's about to lose a subscriber just as soon as he gained it. I'm just happy you're spelling my name right. Finally done. Nice. 10 fucking subs. Hockey supporting uh, Ganskow as well. I love it. Vamos. He's looking sad. Bob Prober and Darren McCarty came to win just like Bill Lambeer and Dennis Rodman. Uh, was invested in the Brandon Spencer fight, A1 combat. He just won split decision as an underdog. Just realized he didn't even fight Billy Brand. What the fuck? Eight days notice. How does Tapology slash A1 combat not update cards? Dude, Tapology? And I, I've even called them out for it. And they're like, well, do you want to work with us and help us out? I'm like, bro, like, this is your job. Your This is why the site exists. It doesn't just exist for UFC. And that's what pisses me off. And look. I use them as a tool. I love them, and that's why I care. I don't give a shit about SureDog anymore, right? That's why I care about Tapology. I want to see them succeed, but they've been failing us lately. They've been failing us lately. <laughs> you do you, Hoggy from home. You do you. I just... Disliking the channel and the video because you don't like someone in the live chat? I mean, that's not cool. That's not cool. So it's AP Ush. I don't want his love. I, I want no raids. If they ain't people in this community. Hoggy from home. Rigos, that is. What are you doing next month? Then what do you mean next month? Denver card September. I thought there was a I thought the Denver card was in next month. Okay, maybe September I can swing it. Maybe September I can swing it. I thought it was in uh the end of April or May. I'll have to double check, but I can maybe swing September. I can maybe swing September. My God, Dodson's a man child. Kirk Gibson. John Dodson is, is a certified turtle. Yeah, he he's he's the ninja turtle that uh that Tony Ferguson wishes he was. Literally, A1 comment didn't even update the card on their website. Amateur has promotion. Oh my god. Come on, your eye favor. Don't hate the Rigo, hate the game. Got to save up your bread to eventually catch a rising card live in person. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably travel. Uh, my sister's really into ja really into martial arts, or one of my sisters is really into martial arts and really into um, Japanese culture as well. So, and she actually makes money. So her and I will probably plan a trip eventually and go to a rising card. Probably one outside of Tokyo, as it'll be a little bit cheaper and just a uh, cooler to be in like a smaller. Smaller arena. No, I don't want to see a landmark event. I want to see a ring, but so I'm not going to go to like a Kobe event or anything like that. But yeah, it would be awesome. Richie Miranda and Landry Ward for Legacy Man. Go get this plus 465. All right. Aaron versus Manon and Lupi versus Verana. Uh, I have Lupi Godinez against Verana Janjiroba. Janjiroba is fine, but I think Lupi Godinez is better, more dangerous. And Aaron versus Manon. I think Aaron Blanchfield is going to win that fight. I know Manon has very, very good takedown defense. I think she's only been take, taken down like what's once or twice in her last five fights or something like that, but she hasn't faced someone with the wrestling and grappling tools that Aaron Blanchfield possesses. If Manon keeps it on the feet though, she's going to piece up Aaron. I just don't, I, I think she'll, she'll stuff the first couple takedowns. 
Um, not in open water, and I mean not like out in the open, but up against the cage. I think she has really good defense. But if if Aaron lands like a nice like if she blasts a double leg or blasts a single leg in open in open um space in the cage, I mean that that's her bread and butter. So going with Aaron, but going with Lupi Godina Godinas against uh Virana Janjiroba. Honestly, I cherish my ex account more than my YouTube account, but I'm trying to stream more and more. Uh, Walter Walker and Trevor Peak on the fight night card next week should be a good yes that will be an awesome one I love Trevor Peak I'll be back every stream starting now sorry for the shit talk earlier it's all good hog your home you just I just didn't understand why you wanted to dislike the stream because of because of our clown friend and crazy clown's awesome we love crazy clown Dude, hockey from home has the best comment ever on the stream she apologized for shit talking one time. I think it's pinned in the Discord. Sorry for the shit talk. I'm still breaking to your house though. I I'm I don't think he will. He says he's going to. I don't believe him. Oh, look at that. Hawk from home. Taking the high road. Appreciate that. I've always marched the beat of my own drummer, so I'm used to being discriminated against. I just imagine that picture as you. Like, you will forever be that picture in my mind. It's November 8th, according to Google. So, okay, even better. Even better. I don't know why I thought it was, like, next month. Aaron and Loopy says Hank the Tank. Clown lives matter. <laughs> it's all good. I got Blanchman and Van Deroba. Calvary, interested to see how good Walter Walker is. And of course, Trevor Peak. Minecraft Steve is goaded. If you're betting Aaron main event takeover, one and a half has super good value. Liam Harrison is rumored to return to the Denver card. Plus, you will get to meet your idols in September. Oh, that's right. Um, Liam Harrison signed his fight contract. He hasn't announced it yet. But, oh man, JC... I'm hoping it's Sexon, man. I'm hoping it's Sexon. Because him and Sexon were talking on uh, Instagram about it. The, the man who yields to no one. That would be such a great fight. Hockey's never living that one down. Dude, it was the best. Sorry for the shit talk. I'm going to break in your house, though. Oh, perfect. By the way, big shout out to everyone in the live chat here. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. If you haven't already, smash that like button. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. So you never miss a live stream. We have plenty of live streams coming up the rest of this weekend. I have some things going on tomorrow night, but I should be back for the end of UFC. And if not, then definitely Pancras. And then the next week, I got a few things. Fucking birthday weekend. Fucking friends taking me out for my birthday. But uh, trust me, we're still going to get at least 15 hours of streaming in this weekend. At least 15 hours of streaming next weekend. If Lupi uses her wrestling more often, she'll win most of her fights. Yeah, I like Lupi Godinez, to be honest. Pretty well-rounded, but uh, yeah, good wrestling. Must respect everyone. I'm drunk tonight. And on edibles, I'm just chilling. Shout out to you guys. Cheers. Ah, much love. <laughs> Crazy Crazy Clown's mixing and matching. Help this man. Sam is fighting in April and then again in Colorado later this year. That's probably why I thought, yes, that is why. She, that is that is why. That is totally why. Because she had two fights announced. Yep. That is, that's 100%. I, like, I knew she was fighting in April. But I, I, and I just thought that that was the Denver card. City life, city life. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, Peek is a dog, always puts on a good show. Life, Respect City Crazy life. Clown, he's funny. <laughs> yeah, dude, shout out to Crazy Clown. Good addition to the group here, I love it. Base Crazy Clown, I'm smoking up as well. By the way, big shout out to the live chat here, guys. We're trying to get to 40 likes on the video. That's right, 40 likes on the video. If you haven't liked already, smash that like button. Subscribe. You know, I just had surgery and edibles is all I can do. Again, Anthony, wishing you all the best in your recovery. 
Sounds like you're doing good, though. Sounds like you're doing good. Yeah. Look at that. Hockey from home. Just switched. Hockey from home went full, full supporter to full heel, back to full supporter. I love it. Oh, no booze or oxys. And stay off them perks, too. I wish we could get good edibles in Canada. Yeah, you can't. Honestly, the, the Metallica fan, like, I haven't found any good ones down here either, to be perfectly honest. I'm, but I'm not a big... Ed Wait, what do you mean you can't find good edibles in Canada? Bro, I'd be finding, like, minimum 100 milligrams at places. I was just thinking, I was like, wait a second, you're not talking about the States. Dude, you can't... I know. I personally have found two good ed edibles in Canada. Too good that I stay away from them. I, I don't want to go into psychosis. <laughs> also, like, I'm more of a... than a... Than a edibles guy i really respect you guys a lot i like just chilling and watching violent mma stuff hey well then you've come to the right spot my man some dude almost went to sleep in lfa day three of recovery and i feel pretty good two weeks and i'll be fucking back let's go why mike tyson lost me because he lost his passion i just think he's old man he's just old mike tyson's like 60 isn't he Yeah, I was getting them mixed up. That's why. I thought the that's why I got them mixed up. But yeah, okay. I'm I will definitely I will definitely start saving for that Denver card. I'm definitely gonna start saving for that Den Denver card. B -b 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 Banger, city life, city life. I just roached my blunt and y'all bullying me into rolling another, so I'm gonna do it, damn it. God, I'm slacking. I just like the vid. Let's go. That's why I always remind you guys. Oh, thank you, Hawk from Home. And you're the best hockey channel on YouTube. Valenzuela almost killed the man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, uh -huh. hockey, you're far too kind. Crazy Clown, the type of guy to pull out edibles in his pocket at a kid's party instead of a tissue. <laughs> <sighs> Ref was tripping. <laughs> hockey's just passionate hockey's just passionate alright have a good one hockey from home and West Coast thank you uh, for being here as well still buddy appreciate you West Coast was hanging out with us for the ACA stream as well West Coast hanging out with us for a little BKFC getting bucked up with the boys <laughs> I don't even have any bucked up energy I gotta get some for the next stream can they sell it at the local grocery store of mine Oh, yeah, if the ref let it go longer, he's out. Valenzuela, under one and a half, minus 130. Cash it. Uh, did you see they announced it was exhibition with no winner, no judges, only winner. If there's a KO and Jake said he's not going to go for the KO shot if Mike doesn't try to KO him. Oh. I haven't been following that. I haven't been following that. Shit, this week I've been so busy, I haven't really followed much in the world of combat sports. But I look, I, I respect... That Jake Paul used like used his money and actually trained properly. Um, unlike his brother who did those exhibition fights, like he's actually training. Which, which hey, you got to give him props for that. But like, I could give two fucks about his boxing career. No problem, hockey. No problem. I'm happy Mike won't die. But what's the point of exhibition sparring in front of seventy five thousand? The undercard better be good. It's all good, Metallica fan. It's all good. Okay, for you guys, I'll take a small hit of the tree from Matt Fravola Steamarola. By the way, Matt Fravola ghosted me, man. We we went back and forth in the Twitter DMs. We set a date to record. The first one didn't work. He was going to jump on my podcast. He was going to jump on the channel for an interview. And then he ghosted me. I, I got to start peppering him in messages again. and be like, Come on, man. The community wants you on the channel. Uh, I'll pretend I didn't read that hockey. I'll pretend I didn't read that. I can't help the way I am. I was born a clown and stayed a clown. Stay crazy, bro. <laughs> Sounds good. Hey, big shout out to Alpha Zeta, though. I know you were giving him some updates. When you're a clown. Nobody takes you seriously. It's money. It's it's for the money. Someday, hockey from home. Someday. When I have time to bring on guests uh, on the podcast again. I like I, I haven't even edited the last episode. And I got to go through it and see if it's even worth releasing now. Which I feel bad. But I've just been so busy. You want a steamroller? You want a Volkanovski interview and the 
Damiri interview. Yeah, Volkanovski jumps on the channel. That'd be huge. But, uh, yeah. Frivolo. All right, let's highlight these next two fighters here, ladies and gentlemen. We have Donald Sanchez against Dallas Davison. Dallas Davison is 2-2 two and two in the promotion. Sanchez 2-1 and a one in Bare Knucks. And this is the co-main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. All right, there's not much info on either of them there. So let me take a look at Tapology. Donald Sanchez is a pro MMA record of 30, 20, and 0. That's right. He's got freaking 50 pro MMA fights. He's a Jackson and Wink guy. He's fought in one championship, LFA, Bellator, and ACB. But since 2020, he's been boxing. He's had two boxing matches in 2020. He fought Jeremy Smith in BKFC, and he's on a two-fight win streak in BKFC, fighting at BKFC 48 and BKFC Prospect Series, where in January against Noah Cutter, he scored a first-round knockout. Looking at his opponent, Dallas Davison. Uh, 1-0 as an amateur in mixed martial arts, and then went right to BKFC, where he got two wins right off the hop and now two losses. Both of his wins have been stoppages. Both of his losses have been knockouts. I'm going to go with Sanchez on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, he's older, but I think he's got it. I think he's got it. Uh, got two packs of UFC cards. Pulling out a sick... Pulled a sick hendo with shaking. Dude, that's sick. I know there's a small ass issue, but could we get a Khabib interview? Not a difficult guy to find. Send me location. Man, when he said he wanted a steamroller, I just imagine him getting an OBJ if you know. <laughs> uh, with the Jasmine, Jasmine Vicious interview. Yeah, dude, I gotta, I gotta reach back out to her. We were talking in the, in uh, the DMs about her jumping on the channel, but then she had like, and I think that one will still happen. She was just doing so much media after a big win, and then I didn't follow up, but I will. That, that's a good one as well. She, she's gonna be an awesome interview. She's so great. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it, Let's get it on. on. Yeah, Jasmine's awesome. One minute and 40 seconds on the clock and a nice blitz there by Sanchez. Again, I'll get back to the live chat here in a, in a little bit, guys. Tell Jasmine uh, we'll create a Wikipedia page for her if she does. I will. That's hilarious. I'm literally going to screenshot that and, and send that to her. One minute and 23 seconds on the clock. Double left jab by Davison. Sanchez looks like he's in better shape than Davidson, too. Oh, nice left by Sanchez. Do Sanchez look sharp? Another left jab by Sanchez. Oh, beautiful right uppercut by Sanchez. One minute on the clock. Counter left by Davidson, but pillow hands. Pillow hands compared to Sanchez. Yeah, dude, Jasmine seems awesome. 51 seconds. Despite not being from Quebec, she, she almost has like a French accent, though. It's interesting. But I think she's from Eastern Ontario, so maybe some of her family's French. I don't know. There's, I'll ask that. I'll ask. 35 seconds on the clock. And there's a left to the body by Davison. Oh, let's go, Anthony. 22 seconds on the clock. He's a good dude. He probably just was peppered with people asking him for interviews and mine just fell. Fell to the bottom of the DMs. 10 seconds on the clock. A left and a right by Davison. Sanchez got the better of him in this first round. Final seconds here. And that is it for the first round. Yeah. I got Sanchez. Freaking Lene Hart ghosted me as well. We were supposed to have an interview uh, last week or the week before, before Ryzen. Never happened. All right. Uh, da, da, da. Did you hear back from the MMA fan show pod? Blake Harrison from the guy from the in-betweeners. No, I haven't, but I will. I mean, I've, I've sent out so many messages and uh, I sent out an email to him. I think we'll be able to get that one eventually. Um, his YouTube channel is actually smaller than mine and I didn't realize that, but that would be a good one. I got a list of guests that I've reached out to who've like I've followed up with and who I'm still wanting to reach out to. 
All right, so yeah, all judges have it for Sanchez that first round. I'll be honest, I thought about changing my YouTube name and avatar about two years ago. My friend on YouTube talked me into keeping it. Yes, stay crazy. Uh, yes, I will, Hog from Home, I will. And you are right. Dustin and Ben Parrish were both knocked down, then ground and pound until they got slept. See you later, Hog from Home. I'll make a Wikipedia page for the Light Project with Kyle jumps on my podcast. It is looking like you'll do some fight pass fights in the next hour. We'll see. We'll see. One minute, 46 seconds on the clock. I'm not sure yet, Shane. I'm not sure yet, to be honest, buddy. I tweeted the steamer. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Davison has my musculature, which is absolutely nothing. One minute, 26 seconds on the clock in this second round. Ooh, a nice right jab by Sanchez, but Davison hit him with the right. Sorry if I missed you guys' comments. We'll try to get back to them as soon as possible. How many fights are left in the A1 combat show, guys? Because I might just stay on stream and we'll just watch those together if there's only a few left. So Shane, I might do that. If there's like a few fights left after the main event, then, uh, then I'll just stay on and we'll watch the rest of them together. 54 seconds on the clock. I'm not going to make a new stream for it, but we'll just stay on and watch. 45 seconds. Breaking my SEO rule, but it takes about a half an hour to set up a stream, and I just don't want to set up another one if it's not UFC prediction videos or UFC prediction video, which I'll probably end up doing tonight. Sanchez pressuring Davison outside that center line, looking for that left jab again. He's following through with the right pretty good to the body. Oh, beautiful right hand by Sanchez through the guard of Davison. That, oh my goodness, that was nice. More of a technical fight than a brawl here, but Sanchez looking for that big shot. Final 10 seconds of the second round. And there's a nice right hand by Davison, but again, like Sanchez wasn't even phased by it. And that is it for the second round. All right, round three coming up here. All right, where are we at with the comments? Where are we at with the comments? Uh, da, 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 da. Richie Miranda time. Rumor has it if he wins, he's going to be headed to the UFC. I'm sure he got lost in the mail. That'd be a dope interview. Put the house on uh, Dodson as you requested. He said, oh, no. I, I said, don't put the house on him. I said, I'm never going to tell anyone to bet the house on anyone, but I'm glad you bet Dodson. We're all riding with him tonight. Hey, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, guys, we're trying to get to 40 likes. We're trying to get to 40 likes. I know we can do it. Please reach out to Don King. Yeah, he's a pretty uh, big YouTuber. Provola's cool. He retweeted me a few times. Plus, any fighter with weed merch is okay with me. Oh, Provola's cool. I, I was stoked to even uh, message me back. But um, I think, you know, life happened. He did some other interviews and probably just got buried in the DMs. I hope this card can hurry up. I need... To be up in four hours. He ghosted you too. I think there's like three more in A1 Comet or only two. Okay, well then Shane, we might not. We'll, we'll see what else is on Fight Pass, Shane. If there's any other fights on, we'll stay on for a little bit. And round three, Let's ladies and gentlemen. Off. But Shane, I am. Uh, I don't know how late it will be, but I will be doing a UFC predictions video probably before better first thing tomorrow morning. One minute and 40 seconds on the clock. But yeah, sorry, Shane. I, I know my schedule... It's just been whack, and I feel I feel bad. I feel bad. I really do. One minute and 30 seconds on the clock, and a straight left by Davison. Again, I'll catch up on the comments between rounds, guys. One minute and 19 seconds. Sanchez with the feints. Oh, a nice left body shot by Sanchez, followed by two more shots to the body and a few more shots to the body. Dude, Sanchez is just ripping the body of Davison right now, then goes high when he dropped the guard. Dude, Sanchez is sick, man. Sanchez is a bad, bad man. He's literally attacking the body, and as soon as Sanchez lifts up his head, he lands a nice right uppercut. Dude, Sanchez has landed like 30 unanswered shots, and he lands a right hand and drops Davison. Davison just got beaten up. Davison just got beaten up, ladies and gentlemen. Davison is back up to his feet, and it is all over. It is all over. The 50 fight 
MMA veteran gets another win in BKFC. <laughs> the late win by Sanchez. That was a one-way traffic, ladies and gentlemen. How dare any MMA celebrity ignore me? Uh, no one knows anymore because A1 doesn't have the capacity to list his fight cards correctly on the card. Oh, yeah, that's right. Two left in LFA right now. Both Paris bros finished. Co-main time as we speak. Davison's got a bloody nose actually making him look more handsome. No chill the same way. Jake Paul is a dog sausage. <laughs> that's great. I love it. I put the house, liver, and my left nut on dogs and flax. Yo, we should sell this debate. Is Aaron Blanchfield attractive as fuck? I mean, attractive as fuck, maybe? Maybe, maybe remove the as fuck, but I think, she's, I think she's attractive. She definitely ain't ugly. Uh, oh, thank you, buddy. Just like number 38. <laughs> You should have made me super confident, so I sold my liver. Oh, no. What have I done? What have I done, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, I didn't watch A1. How did Big Tony do, guys? Provola probably getting his realtor license like Aljo and Al. Oh, those Sarah Longo guys. Um, hey, hey, if you want to do that, I, I'd appreciate it because he has an awesome YouTube channel and a big following. Damn, it is all over. Blanchfield, yes. Looks like Tony's fight was canceled. Good stuff. Let's go. How does... Oh, man. I mean, he's got a chin. He's got a chin. But I feel like Tony did more damage with his elbows and his kicks than his straight punches. I don't want to see Tony Ferguson in BKFC, though. Tony via pocket sand. More likes. Oh, thank you, Hank. Appreciate you, man. Waving, waving the like flag. We're trying to get to 40. Tony has pillow fists. Yeah, he, he used his elbows. I was going to keep asking for interviews until he responds. Because sometimes he checks YouTube comments, but a lot of people comment on his stuff on YouTube. Yeah. Peace out, Hockey from Home. Thank you so much for joining. Appreciate you. Hockey from Home went diehard supporter to full heel. Back to diehard supporter. Absolutely love it. Yeah, so Shane, um, you know, I'll I'll message you, Shane. Here, I don't know, Shane, are you still are you still kicking it? Are you still hanging out? I'm just texting Shane. All right. If you're better looking than Blanchfield, in my opinion. Have you heard of the YouTuber Arab? He was all around the, those countries and places. I always thought he was annoying, but apparently he got kidnapped in Haiti. Arab or Iraq? I haven't heard of that, though, no. Getting kidnapped in Haiti, that would be terrifying. I mean, getting kidnapped anywhere, <laughs> anywhere... Outside your home country. Hell, even in your home country is terrifying. Hey, Reaper Jones, my man. Good to see you. Hey, your Braves won, baby. Your Braves won. Just in time to watch some John Dodson. Volkanovski's kid is now scared of hockey instead of Islam. Your fellow era. I don't. like. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is all over the news. Fuck. Even, dra even fucking Drama Alert is talking about this? Bro, I didn't even know. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, I have seen his videos. I watched the one when he interviewed the, the cartel guy. Day one of living with the Mexican cartel. I did watch that video. You know what's funny is that was... That was uh, that was suggested to me. That was on my uh, my YouTube suggestion. So yes, I, I have heard of his channel. Hey, hockey, you're the best. Thank you. 
Put the house on Dodson as you requested, Isha. I didn't request the house. I'm never going to suggest you guys to put the house on anything. There'll be no dancing on graves if he loses, though, Funkmaster. I promise you that. You super big YouTuber, they only ask in 600K. They don't have a way to get it to him. Oh. Several people want to pay it. Well, hope, I mean, that's fucked up. Hopefully, hopefully he gets out safe. Hopefully someone pays his ransom. I know, Matt, even though it's opening day, but damn, it feels good. Uh, a YouTuber um, was uh, was kidnapped in Haiti. A travel YouTuber. My bad to Tony is on Shogun Fights tomorrow. Okay, okay. Jared Goff. Jared Goff. Jared Goff. Play City Life Anthem. Yeah, we, we were playing it earlier. You missed it. You missed it. As John Dodson walks out. We got a little City Life Anthem here. By the big shout to Funkmaster, he made this song. This is the City Life Anthem. This is the anthem of the channel. Shout out to Funkmaster, that shit. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Rainbow. That's that's where that cl clip is from, by the way. Day one suggested to me dead ass wasn't the worst video I would have watched. The rest just didn't get recommended. Mon Dodson, leave like this fool. Is that cannibal? I'm not sure if it was a cannibal call. I, I'm just hearing about the story right now. I'm actually gonna do some research on it after this. Thanks, Hoggy from home. Still alive, still alive. Big shout out to Funk Master. Oh shit, I just watched a documentary on Haiti with Jimmy Sherizier, aka Barbecue. Apparently that's that's whole the YouTuber was meeting now. Barbecue is demanding the gang release him. Wow. The one good thing Funk Master gave the world. <laughs> oh god. I've heard that even Jesse. Sounds good. Sounds good. Dodson promoting his OnlyFans account. He's sponsored by them. He's sponsored by them. I don't think he has one. I wouldn't know. But I know he's he's been sponsored by them since he was in since he's been in um BKFC. And the two ton Tony Kiampa standing at a frightening five foot nine. He is UFC bound for sure. I wouldn't know. I don't have an OnlyFans account to watch Cage Fury FC. I'm not going to lie. After Hockey From Home wanted to see my legs, I, de I made an account charging people 10 bucks a leg. 10 bucks a leg. You want to see my legs? 10 bucks per leg or 35 for both. I'll give you a little, or uh, sorry, 25 for both. I'll give you a deal. Or 15, sorry, what am I saying? 10 bucks per leg, 15 for both. I'll give you a deal, I'll give you a deal. Uh, I was like my good friend on YouTube, interviews fighters, and he was like the interview, so please send me a time when you're available. Or to your life is subscribed to Jessica and Draws only fan. No, 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 that, that's, uh, denial, denial is subscribed to Jessica and Draws' YouTube channel. He, he sent, unfortunately, he sent the Discord pictures. You're good enough for the Detroit Lions, Jared. Can we eat chance? No, no, no. You got it. Only fans, Hog from home. Only fans. Bro, I'm I'm dead serious. I'm not even kidding. I had to make an account to watch Cage Fury FC. And I'll I'll share them leg pictures. Ten bucks a piece or fifteen dollars for both. Man's gotta eat, baby. Man's gotta eat. I'd hope not, hockey. <laughs> Picks okay. <laughs> Oh my god, hockey serious. All right, guys, we gotta focus our attention on the main event of the evening right now. No, no more Isha leg only fans talk. Shit's getting wild. Shit's getting weird. I watched the beer review video, but damn bro's Italian dude. Yeah, I'm hairy as fuck, dude. I'm only half Persian. My mom is like blonde hair, white as snow. You know, my my dad's fucking Chewbacca. If I was full Persian, I would literally be a walking carpet. Yeah, I, I need a manscape. Dude, I am I should be Manscaped's fucking spokesperson, bro. Okay, back to smoking the bowl of another swing. Cheers. I need that cheddar. What's up, UFC? Oh my god, chat's getting chat's getting weird. 
All right, guys, main event of the <laughs> ten dollars a leg, and I ain't talking about the turkey legs. I'm talking about the Isha legs. Logan Paul versus Isha. <laughs> Unfortunately, if Logan Paul, I mean, he's just so much bigger than me. I could probably get a couple, couple punches in a Logan Paul. I'd probably get a couple good leg kicks in. I mean, I'm not a good fighter, but like I know how to fight. I could hold my own in a street fight. I have. I break. I'm I'm more a love another fighter. I break. I broke up more street fights and and fights with my my friends in college and participated. But you know, every now and then you'd had to participate. But uh, I could probably I could probably leg kick him a little bit. See you later, hoggy from home. Yes, cheers, everybody. Does bro literally have a YouTube account named UFC waiting for Dana to offer a million so that end game money? Come on, Dodson. Uh, Bourbon and Bud breaking news. One of the refs at LFA 180 in Louisville has been kicked out of the venue for being caught on camera, stealing a bottle of liquor from one of the pedestrian tables. <laughs> Leave it to Insider Dylan to give us the news. Isha versus the Schmo. Dude, I'd be down to do that. Let's go. This women's boxing match on top rank right now has actually been fireworks. Nice, dude. Isha has the Canadian crippler. Bryce Hall versus Isha and BKFC. Dude, Bryce Hall can actually fight. What's good? Hope you're having a good day, buddy. Isha versus Ryan Garcia. Bro, if, 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 the, if Buddy continues to ride the slopes... <laughs> All right, guys. Round one, main event of the evening. I'm going John Dodson. Let's, go. Let's get it on. John Dodson, MMA fighter, up against a 15 and oh. On John Dodson thrown in the pocket with some big shots. Yeah, 15 and two pro boxer in Dago, Dagoberto Aguero. But, anyways, let's turn our attention on the fight here and I'll catch up on whatever comments come in after. John Dodson initiated the blitz there. But, like I said, Aguero, he's got the reach. A lot taller, a lot longer, but. Let's be honest. Most guys at flyway are bigger than John Dodson. John Dodson trying to enter the pocket there. Gets in the clinch. John Dodson throwing some big body shots in the clinch, but a nice right uppercut by Aguero. Woman in 13 seconds on the clock. Five rounds as usual. This is the title fight though, guys. Dodson gets fucked up. I'll be sad. Battle of the size. <laughs> Ooh, Dodson took a nice shot by Aguero. I know Dodson lost in Ryzen on New Year's, and that was sad. Nice straight left by Aguero. The thing about Aguero is he gonna, he's going to try to keep Dodson on the outside. Dodson has to blitz, and Dodson with the left and the right. Nice right hand by Dodson. 35 seconds on the clock. Come on, John. Come on. Dodson said the dirty boxing was going to be his key to victory. Yep. I mean, he does... He, He's short and stocky. Doesn't have the longest range up against a very long guy. So he's going to have to blitz in and out of the pocket. Dodson has this dude's moving back. Nice left and a right by Aguero. The left jab landed. The right didn't land clean. 15 seconds on the clock in the first round. Neither of them showing any damage right now. Let's see if Dodson can blitz one more time. Final 10 seconds. Oh, nice right hand. Nice right hand by Aguero. And Dodson drops Aguero. I thought it was more of a slip. I thought it was more of a slip, but Dodson's going to get the 10-8 in the first round. Final seconds. Let's fucking go. And that is it for the first round. I don't... I mean, I have to see a replay to see if that was a knockdown. It looked more like he was just kind of a taken aback from the blitz. I, I don't necessarily think it was a knockdown, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's take a look at the replay here. Oh, he did. He hit him. He hit him with the right hand and left. Yeah, no. He hit him with the left hand. Left hand right on the chin. He may have been falling backwards a bit, but he landed a nice right, a straight right. And look at the left on the chin. Look at the left on the chin. The broadcast is saying there's no way that's a clip. I think there's an argument that 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 you, that that's true. Canelo Alvarez, <laughs> Roman, they're all going to beat me. They're all going to beat me. Yes, dropped. Hamza Chamaya versus Isha. He's going to beat me too. Let's go Dodson. Knockdown. Wow, crazy. This strawweight fight is fire right now. You do a great job. Thank you, buddy. Cha-ching. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Yeah, we'll get back to the comments here in a sec. 
Legit knockdown. That was Cray. Oh, fuck. I'm late to the boxing fight. Who's winning? John Dodson just got the knockdown in the first round in the final seconds. And John Dodson didn't land on the chin. Landed on the chest there of Aguero. That connected, I think, and I'm behind you. One minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Ooh, Dodson! Dodson got knocked down. Dodson got knocked down. Straight left by Aguero. Now Dodson's getting the count. They got a knockdown apiece. Walked into the straight left. Hey, he got knocked down. Hey, if they're going to call the first one a knockdown, you got to call that one a knockdown. One minute and 12 seconds on the clock. Guys, I'll get back to your comments in between rounds, and we'll catch up on all of them after the fight. But I'm keeping my eyes on this one. Dodson, keeping that head movement on point here because that straight jab of Aguero is going to be a problem. And Dodson trying to get into the pocket again. 50 seconds on the clock. Very much opposite styles here. A fighter on the outside versus a fighter who's going to blitz and dirty box in Dodson. Dodson looking to get on the inside again. Looking for some big hooks. Didn't land anything clean and goes for the clinch. BKFC is real boxing now. Let's go. Let's go. Again, guys, keep the comments coming. I won't be able to read them in real time while the fights are going on because I'm keeping my eye on the fight here, but I'll get back to them between rounds. If I don't catch up to all of them, don't worry. We will catch up to them. I promise I catch up on all the comments. 18 seconds on the clock here. Dodson needs to do something big here. Final 15 seconds or it's going to be one round apiece. Dodson looking for his entry. Looking for his entry. Dodson literally running after him here. And that is it for the second round. But he's running away from Dodson. He's scared. He's scared. All right. Round three coming up, ladies and gentlemen. I picked Valet to win as an underdog. He didn't rock him, but he fell because of the punch. Dodson takes a knee. Real boxing, not BKFC. Oh, shit. Real boxing doesn't use gloves, baby. Uh, let me know when Stone Cold opens them up. BKC's real boxing now. Bare knuckle boxing was real boxing. They'd call it boxing. Uh, let's go, Miranda. You got the nod. If you want to see John Dodson whip some ass, give, give me a hell yeah. Boxing used to not use gloves. Pebbles versus Walmart. Devin Haney. Dodson full on sprinting across the ring. This ref is a clown. But is he a crazy clown? You crazy, man. You crazy. All right, round three, ladies and gentlemen. One round apiece. Dodson winning the first round, 10-8. Aguero is going to win the second round, 10-8. 40 likes. We did it, guys. Thank you so much for helping us reach our like goal. If you haven't liked yet, smash it. Smash that like button. Shout out to all 40 people watching right now. You guys are amazing. One minute and 47 seconds on the clock. John Paul, I ain't answering any of your questions. We're watching Dodd right now. We're watching fucking John Dodson fight, brother. I love you, Paul, but we're watching John Dodson fight right now. One minute and 34 seconds on the clock. I'll get, I'll get back to your guys' comments in between rounds or after the fight. Ooh, Dodson, ears bleeding. Oh, he's getting the count again, is John Dodson. See, this is why I can't read the comments during the fight. I'm missing stuff, guys. One minute and 21 seconds on the clock. Aguero gets the, gets the knockdown in the second round, too. One minute and 14 seconds. Oh, and there's a nice right hand by Aguero. One minute on the clock. Dawson with a nice left to the chin of Aguero. Dawson with a dirty boxing here. Dawson holding the neck, landing some big left hands. They clinch and ref separates. Fifty-two seconds on the clock. Forty-five seconds. Dodson needs to crack him here. Dodson needs to crack him or he's going to lose this round too. Or this third round, but this round as well, I should say. 35 seconds on the clock. Dodson trying to keep him outside that center line, trying to pressure him into the ropes here, taking away his space. He gets clipped again with the left on the entry. Dodson goes in for the clinch. He's got to employ some dirty boxing here. Ref separates. 15 seconds on the clock. Some swelling on the left eye of Dodson. He's getting clipped with that jab on the entry. 10 seconds left. Oh, another big right hand by Aguero. Aguero, my apologies. And that is it for the third. Man, Dodson lost that round. He lost the second and third. 
The range game is hurting him here, and his left eye is fucked. Round four coming up. All right, where are we at with the comments? Um, buh, 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 buh. What do you got for Tom UFC King? Huh? What do you mean, buddy? What do you mean? Remember, gloves aren't to protect the hands. It's to allow punches to throw more power because of less hand breakage. Guess who's back? It's hockey. I think everyone needs Ward to win. John is those weird MMA angles. They want more damage, so gloves are made. Also, I contradicted myself. Oops. Dodson's in trouble. Dodson will get worse as the fight goes on. I'm a huge fan of the insane clown posse and Eminem. I like them both equally. I'm literally watching three screens right now. Love you too, man. Thanks. Hell yeah, John. I think Dodson's done. It's a clusterfuck who won round two BKFC. Uh, Aguero run one round two. One minute. Well, it's a, it's auto, it's an automatic ten eight if you if you get the knockdown right. Anyways, sorry I'm behind on the comments, guys, but I got to uh, turn my attention back to the fight here, round four. Yeah, two one in favor of Aguero. Ooh, a nice right hand by Aguero as well. One minute and 28 seconds on the clock. Again, sorry, sorry guys, I'm trying my best to read your comments in real time, but like, I don't want to miss anything in this fight. This is the main event. Nice! Big overhand left by Dawson, and he hurt him. Dawson's looking, chasing him down here. Dawson with a couple left hands. Dawson pushes him to the ground. This ain't going to count as a knockdown, but he did land some big shots on him. One minute and 10 seconds on the clock. One minute on the clock. So far, so good for this round for Dodson. 55 seconds. Aguero's hurt, or he was hurt there. Dodson landed that big, big left hand. Dodson looking to blitz again. Missing with the left hook was Aguero. Not sure if Dodson landed that left, but he was looking for it. 35 seconds. I'm sweating, guys. I'm sweating. I want Dodson to win this so bad. 50 people right now. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for watching. 31 seconds on the clock. And again, I'll get back to your comments as soon as I can, guys. 25 seconds. Dodson looking for his entry. Nice straight left by Guerrero, but Dodson just bit on that and ran right into the clinch. Dodson with a couple big shots in the clinch. Dodson with the right hand. Dude, Dodson's looking really good this round. Dodson's looking really good this round. Final seconds of this first round. This round was huge for Dodson, man. We're, we're, this is going to be tied going into the fifth. And that is it for the fourth. Clear Dodson winning this fourth round. Bro. Bro. Two rounds apiece going into the fifth. This is huge. This is huge. Holy fuck, I'm behind on comments. Uh, da, da, da. Round one was... Round two was also 10-8. For Aguero, because he dropped Dodson. Well, he didn't drop him, but he got the knockdown. Bro, Dodson better pull up, pull this off. I'm moving in with you. Uh, round two and three. Yes, piece of mount. Mr. is boxing. Dodson is getting beat. I'm watching Vale. Nice punch by Dodson. What the fuck? They gave him a knockdown in round three. Bullshit. Takedown. Dodson needs a knockdown. Is that knockdown? Sup? What's up, Phony Turkison? Good to see you. Dodson will destroy this guy in MMA. Dodson really landing that left hook. Lunging in. Don't sweat. Oh, they swang in. I'm trying so hard not to yell for dots and I can feel my incisions. Yeah, yeah. Calm down, calm down. He No, that didn't count as a knockdown. That didn't count as a knockdown. And it wasn't, but he did win the fourth round. All right, fifth round, ladies and gentlemen. And, and I will catch up with your comments after this round, after this fight. Fifth and final round. Don't get dropped, Dodson. Just don't get dropped. Don't get dropped. <laughs> one minute and 48 seconds. I'm not biased at all in this one. Nice jab by Aguero. Dodson looking for his entry. Aguero just playing that counter game, playing that range game. I mean, and it's a good game plan. We got this much range on Dodson with the left hand. Dodson with the right. Dodson with the right again on the entry. Fucking rights. Let's go. A couple shots to the body here in the clinch, and the ref's going to separate them. So far, Aguero, and they're saying it was a little bit of a headbutt. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, Aguero. We're good, we're good. They clash the heads there, but Dawson's like, I'm good, bro, I'm good. I'm about to finish your ass here. One minute and five seconds on the clock. 
This has been the most grueling BKFC fight for John Dodson yet, man. And I said this was going to be his biggest test going up against a season 15 and 2 pro boxer. John Dodson blocked or ducked under the shot there and got the entry into the clinch, but didn't land any big shots himself. 45 seconds on the clock. Man, this is a close round. This is a close round. Dodson has 45 seconds to close it out here. Dodson with the feint. 35 seconds on the clock. There's a nice right or left jab by Aguero and Dodson just, even if he gets hit with that, he uses that opportunity to step in. 25 seconds. John Dodson blocked the left, or yeah, blocked that left hand of Aguero. Went in for the clinch, but didn't land anything. Fuck, this round is so close to call. I don't even have a pulse on it. 15 seconds on the clock. 10 seconds. Honestly, whoever lands more in these final 10 seconds might win this fight. And there's a right hand by Aguero. Fuck! Dodson needs to blitz, man. He needs to blitz here. And that is it for the fight. Dude, I have no idea who won the fifth. Dodson, I think, landed more shots. I think Dodson landed more shots. Aguero landed a few jabs. Dodson, he's taken more damage because he got jabbed up. Man, that was a good fight, though. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. All right. Um, buh, buh, buh. Dodson needs one more 10 9 in the win, sudden death round. Come on, Dodson, put him away. Aguero will be up around still. Did you guys say Aguero got a knockdown around two and three? You should they give Aguero a knockdown around three? What the fuck? Aguero's ahead by one point. Johnny P, who's giving Yoka Stroud? What's up, Joseph? Um, we're talking about two different fights in live chat, so I'm getting confused. 36, 37, Aguero on all scorecards going into the fifth. Missed that, but it's boxing. Go, who knows? 37, Dodson needs this round. Miranda lost cash. That was a crazy round. Come on, Dodson, one more. Dodson needs to just let loose at 20 seconds. Uh, duh, 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 duh. She could have watched it. Sun death. Probably a draw, but dang, Dodson looks old. I, don't know, I thought I thought Dodson looked way faster in this one. We're going to sun death. Hey, what's up, Andrew? Good to see you. Wouldn't be mad if it was a draw. What should they just give? Well, I have no idea what you're talking about, sis. Uh, bu -bu -bu Majority decision, Dodson lost. Honestly, I'm giving... Bu -bu -bu -bu. Andrew B. Buddy, two knockdowns wins you the fight. Big shot by Valley. Yeah, I think, you, I mean, it's either going to be a draw or Dodson's going to lose. Yeah. 46. It's a draw. So Dodson won the fifth round. Dodson won the fifth round. Unanimous draw. He didn't lose. So Dodson won the first round 10-8. Aguero won the second and third 10 8. And then Dodson won the, the third or won the fourth and fifth 10 9. Hey, okay. I'm okay with the scorecards personally. And, and like no bias, no cap. I'm, I'm okay with the scorecards. I don't think so. It's simple math. I mean, do you think he won the fourth round? See, I think Dodson got the fourth round and the fifth was up in the air. The fifth could have gone either way. And clearly they gave the fifth to Dodson. So. They'll oh, yeah, they'll run it back. Yeah, what are the rules around sudden death uh, round? It's been a great card. It's been a great card. There you go, Arthur. Apparently, New Mexico Commission doesn't approve sudden death rounds. Lame. So, there we go. Uh, New Mexico Commission doesn't approve sudden death. Um, and Aguero said, I want to do it again, but in Miami, I'm down for that little BKFC Miami with John Dodson. Run it back, man. Run it back. It was, it was close. Much better. Dodson survives. Dodson lucky to get that draw. I don't know. Again, I, the fifth round could have gone either way. Dodson won the fourth clearly 10, eight in the third, 10, eight in the second. He got a 10, eight in the first. So. Dodson said uh, he's he was way tougher than I expected. But, I mean, he put on a good show in front of uh, New Mexico. 
Oof, that was close. Still the champ retains. Open him up this time. Um, but, but we got Anthony fighting in a one. The platinum Mike Perry would have went around six and go for the win. Well, it's not his choice, guys. Again, it's a commission thing, as Arthur said. It's not his choice. Uh, I've got to do a call there, both underdog your A1. It's open scoring, so we already know how they judged it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, because I mean, UFC, you watch the same fight as me, brother. You watch the same fight as me. Uh, call fire ear popped. Yuck. Might as well run it back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they have to. They have to. Especially because we couldn't go to that sixth round. Amazing fight between Valet and Estrada. Nice, nice. Uh, so that's that. Honestly, it's like an unstoppable force against an immovable object. Is you lucky? You're lucky. I didn't put any money on this. I didn't put any money on this. Again, it's... Bro, it, it's... You're comparing apples to oranges, UFC. This isn't the UFC, bro. This isn't the UFC. <laughs> And it's not a street fight. And it ain't rising. And there's literally open scoring. I don't know, UFC, you watch that fourth round. You watch that fourth round. You have eyes, UFC. I know you watch that fourth round. Uh, da, 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 da. No, ho hockey was here earlier, Andrew. Hockey was here earlier. You see, should have opened scoring so people can cry robbery in real time on X. Andrew's already having a coke. Nice, nice. When are you doing glory again? When, when The next glory card. The next glory card. Brandon Fitzgerald Sr. on commentary. Oh, dude, he totally looks like him. That's hilarious. All right, so we should we switch over to, uh, to Fight Pass here? What's going on on Fight Pass? We got one more card on Fight Pass, right? Not the way I wanted that to go down. I obviously wanted a Dodson win, but uh, came back strong in the fourth and fifth. I just think it was volume over the three jabs, right? Uh, Tarantulas, Alaska, bro. Do you got a mini Don Cherry in your desk? Hell yeah, I do, bro. Hell yeah. Um, all right, are we going LFA or A1 combat? You guys let me know. Hell yeah, dude. We got Don Cherry here. A uh, big and Tarantulas, Alaska. Are you into Tarantulas? We actually have Tarantula feeding videos on this channel. No joke, dude. We've, uh, my, my buddy Tim has a collection of Tarantulas and we, we filmed a ton of, uh, Tarantula feedings on the channel. Here, I'll show you quick before we... Move over to uh, move over to some more fights. By the way, uh, Fairtex fights is also going down tonight as well. If you guys like Muay Thai, um, but, but yeah, let me literally show you uh, some of the some of the videos we have here. We have a whole playlist of it. Yeah, check it out, Tarantula videos, dude. We got a ton of them. My buddy Tim has a. A huge collection of them. So we've we've done a ton of feedings on the channel. LFA, LFA. Oh shit, we gotta go to LFA. We're missing some action. We're missing some action. All right. We're switching over to LFA, ladies and gentlemen. We're switching over to LFA. LFA 180. I will be at this event, by the way. Oh, look at that. We made it right for the main event. We made it right for the main event. All right. And Buddy was dropped early, eh? Lawrence with the high kick, swing and a miss. Looking for the takedown now is Ward. Ward now pushing Lawrence up against the cage. Nice right elbow by Ward. Or by Lawrence, I should say. Lawrence in the red corner. Ward in the blue. Ward looking for the high kick again. Body kick by Lawrence. Do, 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 do. Oh, man. Lawrence is doing a good job right now. Ward just continuing to spam those head kicks where Lawrence is utilizing his jab well. Just in time for the main event. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, 
Oh, and a big right hand by Lawrence, man. He's piecing him up. He's piecing him out. Manila Fay now. What's up, Slap? You always wanted one of those big blue tarantula sapphire, whatever they're called. Dude, one of the Metallica fan escaped. That we were looking for the damn thing. That was scary. Motherfucker, just a minus 70 sold my eight leg plus 456. Mike Perry versus Pitbull. That's a bad fight. Sorry to hear that, sis. How was your match that you went to? Well, I didn't go. Oh, the, the hockey game? The hockey game was awesome, Andrew. Uh, Denver beat uh, Omaha, and then the Gophers beat Omaha last night. You see Apex host a WWE event? Really? 44 seconds on the clock in this first round. We'll get back to the focus play by play here after. This isn't a title fight, right? No, just a featherweight fight. Ward is overrated, and he's the reason I'm taking little Timmy's PS5 back and canceling Timmy's birthday. Timmy, I'm sad now. Minus 700 is value. Listen to Parlay. Why even add it? Do you better just watch? Uh, I mostly just watch. I bet uh, I bet a little bit. Oh, few left hands. Nice right and a left by Lawrence. I'm too poor to bet. But I, I, I sprinkle a little bit. Like, I, I won some money on that freaking octagon card with that Afghan fighter, which was absolutely insane because he was getting his ass handed to him in the first round. But I, I'll, I'll place a little a little parlay or uh, a few bets here and there. But, like, I'm not a big gambler in general. I don't have the funds to be a gambler. The only thing I'm a pure degenerate on is I bet way too much money on the show Survivor. I got three futures bets, and I'm in two fantasy pools right now. Uh, in my experience, LFA odds mean nothing. Most of the time, LFA fighters are usually so inexperienced. Ah, I, I disagree. I disagree. LFA is definitely one of the better regional shows. Oh, dude, I just saw that knockdown early. I would say LFA is like... Yeah, LFA is one of the better regional shows. Now, if you're betting on like Fury FC, if you're betting on like your eye favors A1 combat, Anthony Pettis, then that's a different story. But a LFA, you, can you usually can have a pretty good gauge on LFA. Ward is getting pieced. Uh, I meant it. I made plus 456. It definitely added value, but wow. Dude, the mod's looking soft as hell. Uh, the elephant fans are getting loud. I didn't know you could bet on Survivor. That sounds fun. It's fun, but it's stressful. It's fun, but it's stressful. My friend's mom, USC, she's got like, she's got a formula. She's, she's won like, she won like three grand two years ago. On a futures bet. Oh, big left hand by Lawrence. Basically, there's like little things you have to look for. Like in the opening credits, if, if one of the players' name is in a different spot than all the other ones, that's a sign that the producers give you. Oh, nice left and a right by Ward. Um, if any of the secret scenes, the deleted scenes weekly, paint one of the players in a bad light, whereas in the actual show the producers prop them up, then that's another giveaway. Cause like, they don't want any, they don't want us not liking the winner. That's another thing. So, I mean, I think Tevin wins this year. Um, Tevin, uh, the, the, the ex, I forget his name off the top of my head. Oh, nice left by Lawrence. There's a guy who like left med school to be a, a teacher and the Persian chick from Canada. Those are my top three. Those are my futures bets. I bet on, oh, beautiful right hand by Lawrence. He just knocked down Ward. He just knocked down Ward. Big hammer fist by Lawrence here. Lawrence trying to enter the guard. Oh my goodness. Lawrence looking to end this. Big right elbows by Lawrence. What a fight to jump into here, ladies and gentlemen. How did Ward get back up to his feet here? Now Ward looking for a single leg. That's crazy. You think Ward's going to come back? I don't think so, man. Unless Lawrence drains drains the gas tank here. Looks like Lawrence is still a little wobbly. Or sure, looks like Ward's still a little wobbly, but... Oh! Dude, Ward is a dog, though. I have to give him, I have to give him that. He's still trying to throw kicks, and now Ward looking for a takedown. Good sprawl by Lawrence. LFA is a really good promotion. So is Invicta FC. Have a good one, Andrew. Thank you so much for stopping by. Every time you skip one Friday fights, the majority of the fights end by knockout. I know, JC. But again, I'm not... It's not my... Like, I, it is a choice, but like, I have to work. 
right? I have to, I have to get some client stuff done. It's 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 not about it being early. I, I'm up early all the time, anyways. It's just I I had to get a project done, so I had to wake up early. I had to get I, I had to get at least a bunch of it done. Um, and then you know I was able to do ACA today because I got most of the project done, and I I timed it where I was able to still do some streams tonight after getting that done. But yeah, trust me, man. I I wish I could do every single one, JC. I know I missed so many knockouts today, eight for eleven on knockouts. But I promise, JC, we'll be back. Lawrence, by the way, landed two huge shots. How the hell is Ward still standing, brother? I don't know if this is a stupid question, but am I supposed to take the cover off my microphone, like? Like a plastic cover? I would say get a pop filter instead of a cover. Come on, Lone Star. He's done. This fight is insane. He's a dog. I'll give him that. Probably by decision. Super close, but it was what it is. Sorry to hear that. Paul Craig made Hill tap to. Oh, yeah. One was crazy this morning. Hey, Gun Tone Granny. Great to see you. Thank you for dropping by. Gun Tone Granny, by the way. Huge support of the City Life and my second channel, The Soda Pod. Happy Easter, Guntone Granny. I'm waiting for you to watch the Super Bond card to see your reaction to the one-armed Canadian fighter. The soft part. The soft part. Send me a picture on Discord. I don't know what you're talking about off the top of my head. If there's like plastic and shit, then yeah, take it off and get a pop filter. High kick again by Ward. Lawrence is slowing down a little bit, but man, what a what a fight. Oh, they each land a big shot. Yeah, yeah. We do a show together every Monday. A two-hour talk show. This man's ass. I don't know why I put Ward in a parlay. But yeah, JC, I do uh I do a show with uh, Rush Hour every Monday. We do a two-hour, a two-hour non-stop combat sports talk show. Nice right hand by Ward. Lawrence continuing to walk him down. Words a dog. Yeah, by the way, happy Easter. It is Good Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Easter to everybody in the live chat here. Bro, I think I've been leaving the microphone cover on, and that's why my audio sounds weird. Yeah, if there's like a plastic cover, you, you want to take that shit off. You want to take that shit off. You want a pop filter, not a plastic cover. But send me a picture, and I'll give you the thumbs up. Laughing emoji face and or, yes, brother, take that shit off. His reactions were hilarious. Oh, yeah. Jay's awesome, JC. Jay's awesome. Ooh, a nice left and a right by Ward. Ward's starting to land some big shots here at the end of the second round. Ward looking for a late round takedown. He's not going to get it. He's not going to get it. Dude, Ward keeps spamming head kicks, man. Who is this guy? Ward going to find the finish in the third. What a fight. What a fight. No, it's like made of cloth or something. Okay, like I said, send me a picture on Discord. Here, I'll even bring up Discord right now. Mm, what kind of mic do you have? I guess I'll see it. Ward's face is Jackson Pollock masterpiece. The best days in the WWE when uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper would fight uh, the A adorable Adrian Adonis. I will uh, he, draw, draw. So he got a 10-8 in the first round, then lost the second and third 10-8, then won the fourth and fifth 10-9 majority draw. I'm going to bounce by you, Shibacha. Hey, HM, glad you made some money on Counter-Strike, my Counter-Strike brother. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Hope to see you for a little bit tomorrow. And then Sunday, we're doing the boxing card. So hope to see you then as well. But big shout to HM. Thank you for handing out memberships like you were freaking Oprah Winfrey last weekend. Really appreciate you, buddy. Can't forget the coconut on Snooka. Man, they are bloodied up here. Round three, ladies and gentlemen. I finally found a fellow wrestling fan in this pack of MMA degenerates. Outside low kick by Ward and Lawrence lands the two piece. Bro, I could go for a two piece in a soda right now. Not in the Mass Vidal variety of like the freaking Popeyes variety. Great fight. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Four minutes and 31 seconds on the clock. Haven't seen a war like this in months. A hype LFA crowd over the Apex. Oh, absolutely. Dude, Anthony, the, the last time I went to LFA, the crowd was so hyped. There were people fighting in the crowd. 
It's got that old school UFC vibes at the casino because usually they put the cage on the stage in like an event center. And so everyone has a great view. Ward's going to lose, right? I mean, he is losing the fight. Four minutes on the clock. But if he gets a Hail Mary shot here because he just refuses to go down. WWE was my child when I found out people fight for real, though I switched to UFC. Three minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. We're like a 10 8. I don't think that's, um, I don't think the second round was a 10 8 because Ward actually got back up to his feet and landed some shots as well. Man, Lawrence beautifully checking these leg kicks. Is it 2018 Lawrence? I rage quit watching. We're still, we're still watching, sis. Three minutes and 28 seconds on the clock. The honky tonk man versus Jake the Snake. Lawrence's leg is absolutely toast. Yeah, it's it's pretty. At least he's checking it. It's still like he's still taking damage on it, but he's checking it. Three minutes and eleven seconds on the clock. My pop on later for a post game. All right, I'll join your chat. I'll join your chat. Nice right hand by Lawrence. I'm going to make some food quick, but I'll uh, I'll join your chat as I prep some UFC. Man, I've never seen someone spam, lay, spam kicks as much as Ward. This is crazy. High kicks, body kicks, low kicks. Oh, there's a big leg kick by Ward on Lawrence. Yeah, that lead left leg. What a, what a, a tremendous fight. Oh, big right hand by Lawrence. Two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Ward needs, to le Ward needs to learn some head movement. Head movement. King Kong Bundy versus Hulk Hogan. Two minutes and 13 seconds on the clock. Crazy Clown, I got a, I got a, great, uh, a great show for you to watch. Hold on. Just an episode. And Hank, you, you'd, you'd like this too. You'd like this too. If you guys are a fan of pro wrestling, you'll love this shit. Shout out to Yarp Yarp. Specimen Yarp, okay? Just remember that term, okay? Specimen Yarp. This is for you, Hank the Tank and Crazy Clown and anyone who loves great comedy. One minute and 43 seconds on the clock. One, two, and a high kick. It's followed by a low kick by Ward. And there's another right hand by Lawrence. Just graze him, though. The show is Kenny versus Spenny. This, these two guys right here. I ain't no weeboo, but I support those guys because they, they need some money after the show was canceled. One minute and 25 seconds on the clock. And a nice one-two by Lawrence. What's up, Western Mass Climber? Thank you so much for joining. Commentators questioning why this fight isn't five rounds. And I agree. I don't think there's any uh, main events for LFA that are five rounds that aren't title fights, though. One minute on the clock. What a fight, man. What a fight. Oh, and a left and a right by Ward, man. Ward with another right. Lawrence is fading. I mean, I don't blame him. He's been taking a lot of damage too, but man, I do think Lawrence won the first and second round. Ward might win this third, to be honest, though, with those leg kicks. Even though, even though Lawrence is checking half of them. There's a nice right hand by Lawrence. What a fight, man. What a fight. Thank you guys for suggesting us do this last minute. Way rather watch this shit than anything A1 Combat has on tap. 25 seconds on the clock. Although, I do want to see Ernie fight in the main event, so we'll see. What a war. Dude, big combination by Ward. Oh my goodness. Spamming the kicks. Dude, Ward has tremendous cardio. He's got no head movement. And he's a punching bag, but I'll give it to him. He's got, he's got a chin and cardio for days. How? Ward with the spin fucking kick are you kidding me he goes high with the spinning heel kick and that is it ladies and gentlemen standing freaking oh standing ovation that was tremendous that was fucking tremendous wow wow that shit beautiful than a motherfucker oh. i love this sport unbelievable Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. What a war. I think there's no way they're going to give it to Ward. Lawrence won the first and second round. Don't the clown, of course, crazy likes him. 
Yes, Western. I'm fucking heartbroken. Minus 700. So it's a plus 456. I'm sorry, sis. I'm sorry. Holy fucking shit. Hank the tank. Mikey P, we're, we're awaiting the official decision. Lawler versus Rory 2 if it went the distance. I, I, I do not think Lawrence is going to win this fight. Lawrence shouldn't win this fight. Pride rules? Sure. Because Ward, uh, like if this was Ryzen... If this was Ryzen or one championship, Ward might win because he ended the third round stronger. But the first two rounds, Lawrence Lawrence beat the piss out of him. And Lawrence dropped him in the first round. And didn't he not almost finish him in the second as well? So Ward definitely won the third, but... Lawrence is going to win an F my parlay. I already know. What a fight. What a fight. I don't even know who the favorite is. It was Lawrence the favorite? Oh, no, shit. I see it right here. Jesus Christ. He was the underdog. Oh, my God. Wow. Sorry, I didn't do any prep for LFA because we were doing uh, BKFC, right? Oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that left ear of Lawrence. My God. What a fight. What a fight. Lawrence still wins, in my opinion. Lawrence won 29-28. Even 29 27, I thought Ref was going to stop the fight earlier in the round. Dude, I hope LFA 181 is as exciting as this. My God. Well, I mean, Goozy's on it. Our boy Goozy Hines is going to be on the card next weekend because LFA is in Minnesota. <laughs> Bruv, we love you, sis. Sist. All right, we're listening in for the official decision. Round one and two should go to Lawrence. Round three should go to Ward. Yep. 130, 27, 229, 28s, and Lawrence is going to get this one. Sorry, sis. And the upset in the main. Lawrence, <laughs> Lawrence, the tornado. Wow. Wow, what a fight. What a fight. Eight and four is a pro now. He's touching his ears. He knows that they're fucked up. All right, what do we got? We got A1 combat next. We got A1 combat next. I want to see the main event for that one. Oh, was it an upset? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going back to A1. Corey McKenna looking like a teacher again. Do they have two title fights? Man, their belt's actually pretty sick, A1 Combat. No, Ernie's the, the champ, I thought. Okay, so there's two. All right, so there's, yeah, we got one more fight. We got one more fight. So yeah, Ernie Juarez, by the way... No joke, man. No joke. Uh, Ernie reached out to me on YouTube for an interview after he won the belt. And then his mom, his aunt, and his cousin all messaged me on Facebook asking me to interview them. And, and I told them, like, here's my number. Here's my email. Let's set it up. And they, they never got back to me. So, Ernie, if, if you check in on the channel, which you probably won't because it says BKFC, we still want to interview you, buddy. Uh, da, da. Tornado spotting. Good job, Tornado. That's what I'm saying, Mikey. Great fight. Uh, you can have a career similar to Ernie Harwell, Vin Scully. You are really good in any sport, it seems like. Hey, thank you, Crazy Clown. I appreciate you, man. I got my reps doing hockey. I got my reps doing hockey commentary. I was the biggest dog on the card. Look at me now. Yeah, I did apply. I applied to, to be the English commentator uh, at Rise, and I applied three times. Didn't hear back from them the first two, and the third time they told me I had to learn some Japanese. Look at me now. <laughs> Leg kick, dead. <laughs> All right. Um, we have the main event of A1 Combat coming up next, so we might as well. We might as well just. We might as well finish off this night. Uh, with uh, with one more here. Okay, let me check. Uh, 
Oh, Ethan, what a beauty. Ethan just posted such a good meme. Oh, Hank, I, I just saw your message on Discord, Hank. Don't let the Apple dicks get ya. <laughs> and uh, Ethan with the with the with the gift for the City Life uh, song. I love it. I love it. No chill. Did you message me yet? I just opened up Discord. I don't see it. All right, let me get up this final fight here. We got, uh, oh, this guy's actually good, man. Calder is actually pretty good, but Ernie Juarez is good too. The young Titan, 7 0, undefeated out of Stockton, motherfucker. Stockton. And I'm pretty sure, isn't he one of the Diaz guys? Isn't he one of the Diaz guys? All right. I'm just going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen and we'll get to it. I just rage deposited and I'm rage betting. Fuck this. Fuck that. Ryzen called you a guy gin behind your back. I know. This McKenna low key cute as fuck. Yeah, dude. I mean, I I dig the, the cute teacher look. Not going to lie. Learn some Japanese ASAP. Uh, even though I despise that promotion, you have to fulfill your dream. I'm basically Bob Probert, Bill Lambier, Dennis Rodman, D-Mac, Kirk Gibson, Jack Morris, all rolled into one. The crazy clown. And, oh, and a little insane clown posse as well. Wait. Wait a second. We have more fights on this card? What the hell? What the heck? Who the heck is this guy? I thought... I thought the main event was a flyweight championship fight. Who the fuck is this guy? Oh, he's filling in? This guy's taking a title fight on short note. Oh, man. Ernie's going to destroy this man. Unless this is middleweight. I guess what we'll find out here. Gonna, I, I, we just switched over to A1, so I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Championship teams in Michigan are mean. Dude, Michigan's playing... Um, fuck, who the fuck are they playing in hockey? They're playing... Uh, who are the Wolverines playing in the first round? It's going to be a good game. Oh, North Dakota. Yeah, dude, Michigan's playing North Dakota in the opening round of the NCAA finals or NCAA tournament. The moral of the story is LFA underdogs win in the main event every time. Belter style post limbs. Good, good. Guess who's back? No, they just said this guy took the fight on short notice. 24 hours short notice. So I'm wondering if this guy's out. But he looks too big to be a 145-er. Okay, no. So this is the middleweight fight. This is the middleweight fight. So Tapology just has their bout order wrong. So we got two more fights. We got two more fights. Oh boy, I ain't sleeping tonight. I gotta wake up at early for jck if i can find a stream we might not stream jck if i can't find a stream but oh yeah we got seemingly two more fights left on the card this guy is not even fighting so it doesn't really matter but uh, we'll just we'll just hang out on stream here and watch the rest together okay so he's still in he's still in yeah so Jason Butcher had to pull out. And this this other guy took the fight on 24 hours notice. <laughs> the good old Bellator postums when they can't couldn't fit all the cards. They couldn't fit all the fights on the same card. Do you see Harbox Wolverines? Yeah, I watched that game. I watched that game. Uh two more fights. Two more fights. Eating some salmon. Mm, salmon. I'm so hungry. A1 Tabology is a lie. Yeah, I know. We were just talking about that. We were just talking about that's why. I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't trust. I shouldn't trust. Good, man. Good. I love the idea of BKFC, but I don't know why they find half those fighters at truck stops. Because, well, I think just because there's not many willing fighters, right? A lot of them are like amateur boxers, amateur MMA fighters. Guys who fight in the bar. There's not a lot of willing members to fight BKFC, I think. It's all good hogs from home. 
Uh, Uriah Faber's A1 combat on UFC Fight Pass. I'm, I'm hard-boiling some eggs. I could go for some hard-boiled eggs right now, Shane. A little sriracha on top. Butterbean fought in Michigan because he knew his audience. Shout out to Butterbean. Post-boob job Van Zandt is ass at fighting. UFC A1 combat. I'm tuning in. Yeah, we got two more fights. Two more fights. This one should go... I mean... Hen Henderson Ferreira is taking this fight on 24 hours notice. And apparently you, you can still win a title with 24 hours notice, so he's going to do it. I'm um, pretty sure Pedro weighs like 175 now. Yeah, she's thick. Uh, so I don't think she'll fight again. He's just hungry, but he's just good. This live chat's been amazing. You all are amazing. I love how Mikey P is like, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be around for this chat because I wasn't betting on this card. And Mikey P is still here, baby. Shane's back. We got two more fights left on the card. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, so this is for the middleweight strap, even though Buddy took this fight on short notice. Oh, yeah, and, and Kevin Felipe is from Team Alpha Male. He's going to win this one. This is basically like FAC without the gambling scandal. Did I say scandal? Scandal. Chase. Chase. Mo and, and whenever the dude, and even the broadcast even one time called your eye out for it. And he like he, he didn't get mad, but he got like a little taken aback on uh, on the mic there when they brought him on for a little play by play. But I mean I get it, I get it. You you wanna you want a place for your fighters to develop. Actually, I'm going to bed now. Tomorrow, going to my nephew's hockey game. Nice, dude. Hockey's hungry too. She had a salad eight, but you know how salads don't make you full. More food is needed. All right, round one. Let's go. quote: "Yeah, I've gained a lot of weight, but I also gained a lot of strength, power, muscle, and a fuck ton of happiness." I see every single comment on my YouTube channel about how I look pregnant. <laughs> That's fucking brutal. I got the short notice, guys. I don't know if you heard, but one of the Raptors centers under investigation for betting on games. Uh-oh. I haven't heard that, Shane. Quote from a couple of weeks ago. I mean, I don't think she looks pregnant. I mean, I, I think she looks good. Fit. She's a fit bird, as they say on the in-betweeners. Uh, Pedro then sells her butthole for less than KSW pay-per-view, dude. I, again, I wouldn't know, but I imagine it's more given that she makes like half a mil a month. Or she, I think I think in one interview she said she made three, she made like 300 grand a month. Like no sponsors just from those websites or just from those accounts. It's crazy, it's crazy. Jonte Porter's is his name. Hockey's got butcher locked in. <laughs> um, I interviewed a, an OnlyFans star on my hockey podcast because she was a big Gophers fan, and uh, and yeah, her story was was pretty crazy too. Here, I'll, I'll link the I'll link the interview in the chat right now. All right, looking for the back take already. By the way, is Henderson Ferreira. Here's the interview. It's all free. Three minutes on the clock. Two minutes, 59 seconds on the clock. And I think actually we're going to interview this chick again as she's a big Gophers fan and, and, the, and the, she's actually coming to Minnesota for the Frozen Four, so... Oh, looking for the... Oh, bro. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. On 24 hours notice, Henderson Ferreira might win this one. Two minutes and 41 seconds on the clock. He's got the back take on Kevin Felipe. Uh, UFC fight pass hockey from home. Wait, what happened to No Chill? I didn't I didn't delete the chat. I just think uh, YouTube probably just didn't didn't show it. Oh, thanks, Hoggy from home. 
Stamp gonna be a two division three sport queen. Dude, I love Stamp Fairtex. I love Stamp Fairtex. Let's go. Uh, hockey from home. It's hard to gauge. It's hard to gauge. Probably another half an hour. I have one mod and Andrew B. I don't know what he be doing. Dude, that's so based having Andrew B. as your mod. I love it. Andrew based. Appreciate you, Hog from home. For short notice, but he's so much better fighter. Would have been a massive favorite if the books took it. Oh, okay, got you. Let's fucking go. Short notice doing work, dude. Yeah, he's looking for the rear naked choke here. Felipe with some good scrambles. One minute and 26 seconds on the clock. Put that panda to sleep. I think I'm a mod for your channel too, Hog from home. One minute and 15 seconds on the clock. Man, if Ferreira can flatten him out here, he can maybe even pass the mount. One minute on the clock. I'm all buzzed up again. Yeah, I need to, I need to get back on your level soon. 58 seconds on the clock. <laughs> the clown is back. I need these friends in real life. 46 seconds on the clock. Phony would block everybody. 41 seconds. Ooh, a nice big right hand by Ferrer, but Felipe gets back up to his feet. Swing and a miss with two big hooks by Ferreira. Ferreira looking for that entry to take him to the ground again. Ooh, nice body kick by Ferreira. Ferreira with another body kick. Make sure to mod out all my comments. <laughs> I know Benjamin and Andrew A and uh, Jelani are only are, are only mods on City Life, but I might have to add another two because uh, Benjamin doesn't show up as much as he used to. I mean, real life kicked in, but he's he always sticks he always kind of drops in for some UFC streams. Jelani is in freaking Thailand competing in Muay Thai, and Andrew A pops by, and Andrew A is pretty much here every weekend. Cucumbers and salt named a better combo. Oh. With a little bit of lime or lemon juice, cucumbers. And I put so, dude, Mikey, that's such a Persian thing. That's like that, that's what I my dad would always make for snacks: uh, cucumbers, lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Sometimes I'd put it in pita bread with a little feta cheese, but that's if I'm just getting crazy. I mean, you can't, Hogger. You can be, but I feel like it's 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 like more work. You know what I mean? It, it, like I'm not just gonna hand out a mod for like a status. I'm gonna hand out a mod. Like I'm gonna hand out mod if people are actually gonna like do the job. You know what I mean? All right, round two, guys. Round two. And like I don't, I don't know if you want that responsibility to be honest. Because if you like, if you kick someone and they're pissed, I don't want them like coming after you. <laughs> Promise me every stream starting now. I'll make you a mod for my channel. Hey, I, I would be honored. I'd be honored. If you come with anything, frighten me. Don't know what to do, but I'll learn how to be a mod. Yes, yeah, so that's the thing. I don't want to teach. I don't want to like teach anybody. So again, it's it's not it's not a status thing. It's like whether you're a mod or not doesn't doesn't like doesn't change uh, how much I uh, appreciate you joining the channel. Hogman room again, setting the roots to infiltrate city life's life. Ooh, a nice big shot by Ferreira there and. Ferreira takes him to the ground. Felipe landed a good body. I think it was a body kick. Four minutes and 12 seconds on the clock. Great takedown by Ferreira. Oh, Ferreira has eight knockouts in his MMA career? Damn. Henderson Frere in the top position here. Trying to work side control. Looking to get that back take. Uh, only had the left hook in. Good scramble by Felipe. Felipe getting back up to his feet. So this is the guy who's fighting. He's an 18-5 guy. 
Seven KO, TKO, two submissions, nine decisions, three and two in PFL, three and one in jungle fight, two and one in UAE wars. What the hell is he doing in A1 combat? He was just available. He fought Bare Nux as well. Oh my God. Bare Nux, I mean, that's right. He fought Carl freaking Robinson just a couple months ago. Wow. Yeah, this guy's a dog, man. And he's been fighting everywhere. He's been fighting some legit guys in UAE Warriors as well. Half guard now for Frere, and they're off the cage. Yeah, don't want someone on the first day for sure. Give them a week or two and see if they return. Yeah, your, your chat's been uh, your chat's pretty chill, hogged from home. The ultimatum. You have to be there for your uh, yonder <laughs> or yan yander yandere. In six fighter against an eighteen five and one fighter. Yeah, but the eighteen five and one fighter took the fight on short notice. He, he took the fight on twenty four hours notice. I haven't even seen it yet, Hockey from Home. Also, funny that crazy boy in Portuguese is Boy Dodo. I'll try my best, Hockey. I'll try my best. Big ground and pound by Ferreira. And look at this, a nasty cut on the right forehead, or the right side of the forehead of Felipe. Oh my goodness, he's bleeding like a stuffed pig. Seems like the guy accepted late notice replacement guy not knowing who he was. You have to be there every streamer. I'll Alternatively, provide your address. An offer he cannot refuse. One minute, 30 seconds on the clock. I try to hit a pocket from home streams every time, at least for a little bit. One minute, 23 seconds on the clock. <laughs> I gotta be careful how I word this here. <laughs> I gotta be careful how I word this here. Um, I'm just gonna say no. One minute on the clock. Rep providing there's levels to this, and any fighter named Ferrer will also probably win. The 1K subscribers are all in hockey's alt accounts. Bro, I'm I'm impressed, man. And, and not like now that I looked at Ferrer, okay, yeah, he's the better fighter, but on on 24 hours notice. Not even, not even looking tired at all yet. All named Felipe Sutkoff. Looking at you, Carlos Felipe. Hey, fair enough, fair enough. Stranger danger, I get it, I get it. I have 15 accounts subbed to Hoggy from home. Isha and Andrew B. Dude, yeah, No Chill MMA and, well, and the Soda Pod. No Chill MMA got the Soda Pod to 1,000 subscribers and it will be put up a bit. 1984, the Detroit Tigers had a pitcher named Senior Smoke. I love it. Another beautiful round of by Ferreira. Yeah, Carlos stopped trying to, trying that fight was disappointing. Uh, I think I only have two. I only really have two active YouTube channels. I don't really use the Rush City account yet. We're still trying to build that up. Which, by the way, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my uh, second fight channel, we're trying to build it up to 200 subscribers, and we're going to move the show there. So go and check it out. It's got 50 subs right now, only 150 to go. Trying to build that channel up to 200 subscribers. And if you guys just can't get enough of me, if you if you want more, if you want more, so you're like, this is my sec, this is my other channel, this is my hockey channel. Hockey and beer. It's the name of the game. Opinions on the Denver card. I haven't even looked at it top to bottom yet, man. I, I've, been, I've been telling you guys all stream. I've been so busy with work this week. There's a reason why I haven't been streaming, but I'll check it out quick. Uh... Like I've like guys, like I literally didn't leave my computer editing for 15 straight hours this week. Uh on between Tuesday and Wednesday. 
15 straight hours. That's the, the it was a grueling project and we had some technical issues too, rendering issues. Unfortunately. Okay. Um so this is the stamp versus Zambuanga card. Um well, no, this that one's in Thailand. Never mind. Never mind. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The Denver one is. Oh no, that's just the September one. What am I saying? What am I saying? Um. Well, there's only two fights that are announced on it, right? Stamp and and Haggerty and Superluck. I'm really excited for the the flyweight fight. I think uh, Jung Nung Jung is is very very good. She's actually she's fucking scary, man. I mean, her and Angela Lee had wars, right? Um, and Jonathan Haggerty super like. Well, you guys already know who uh who I'm picking to win that one. Super like's going to destroy that man. What other fights were announced on that card? Su was Super Bond announced today? I didn't realize Carlos Felipe fought today on ACA. I didn't watch the card. Dude, ACA was good. ACA was good. Dude, Carlos Felipe, by the way, Mikey P, uh, he looked tremendous. His opponent just had an iron fucking chin. He couldn't put him out. Uh, Felipe looked better than I've ever seen him uh, look before. He even had a freaking six-pack, dude. He's on that ACA secret juice. So yeah, uh, JC, I only see two fights on the card. Love the stamp fight, but I think that's going to be one of her hardest fights as Young is an absolute animal. She is the panda after all. And then, uh, yeah, Superlex going to absolutely destroy Haggerty. And I'm so excited for it. Nice grab between Oxer Valdez and Liam Wilson. Yeah, fucking rights, man. Go Valdez. How do you live with editing 15 hours is the question. I have no idea. I have no idea. I took a break to do uh, a couple push-ups and eat some ramen, but like it wasn't a long break. It was just, it was a long time. It was a long time. I would likely be going to one in Denver. Hell yeah. Well, if, if it's in September, dude, I might join you. He's doing good hockey. I haven't talked to him for, for, uh, for a few months, but I should, I should shoot him a message here soon. Rod Tang being shadowed by Superlek now. Hell yeah, he is. I wish he got the win. I love Felipe and his whole team. He looked good. He looked good, man. And you know what? If there was if there was anybody else, no chill. Like, those hooks that he was landing were insane. Like his opponent had an iron chin. He couldn't put him away. Dude, Mikey, watch it. He looked like he he he's in good shape. Okay, maybe a four pack. And there's a little bit, there's a little bit of flab on the bottom there, but the love handles are gone. And, like, it was crazy, man. Willie Hernandez changed his name to Guillermo and wasn't the same guy, but I never understood why. I don't, I don't know why either. Yes, I'm a stranger. Oh, nice, nice. Put on the Muslim Valdez boxing's way better than this crap. What am I, a monkey? Dance, monkey, dance. Amazing boxing fight going down. Switch over, gang. Woman in 42 seconds on the clock. All right, uh, UFC is going to be streaming the Valdez fight, so go and check out his channel. He's going to be streaming the Valdez fight. Woman in 34 seconds on the clock. Man, this is crazy, man. Again, I, I didn't look up Ferrara before uh, as this fight was starting. I just heard this guy's on short, or took his fight on 24 hours notice. But uh, yeah, absolute domination. Dude, he's foot stomping him from uh, back control here. <laughs> You're our monkey. Oh my goodness. I got more hair than a monkey, I'll tell you that much. It was the best times of the Bush times, you stupid monkey. Uh, this guy got off the couch yesterday and decided he wanted the LFA belt. A1 combat, but yes. 46 seconds on the clock. I wonder if one would let you stream at Denver with one YouTuber I watched. Dude, one hasn't even sent me a care package. They've sent Jay Smooth a care package. They haven't even sent me a care package. Your friend is a pet monkey? Oh, God. 25 seconds on the clock. 
Uh, Willie Hernandez and Senior Smoke was lights out. And don't get me started on Juan Ber uh, Berenguer. How do I? I don't even know how to pronounce his last name. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Have you seen what the fucking monkeys are doing in Thailand right now? Hockey from home. Fuck that, dude. They're going full Planet of the Apes. Kevin Felipe should retire after this fight and probably change his name to Kevin. <laughs> exactly that. All right. I just want to see this main event. I want to see our boy Ernie. The young Titan. He's looked good in his last uh, three fights in A1. Mind you, not, not against the best competition, but he's still he's still relatively young. He's 3-0, he took on a 2-1 guy, 4-0, took on a 3-0 guy, 6-1 guy. Like, he's been taking those steps up in competition. Going up against a 5-2 guy now at 7-0. So I'm excited. And, and this guy's no joke, man. He's no joke. Are you in the one Discord? No. Is that the reason why I didn't get a care package? <laughs> Uh, one knows you already need deep in hockey from home care package. Two Mexican fight is Juan on Juan. <laughs> you want to see war put on the Valdez and Wilson? Yes. Uh, go subscribe and follow UFC. He's going to be streaming the Valdez versus Wilson fight uh, next, guys. How's Wilson still standing? I mean, Valdez is beating the shit out of him. Dude, one of my favorite fights of 2023 was Valdez against uh, Navarrete. That was one of my favorite fights of 2023. I was literally, I, I've watched it four times since. Shoot, I even think I made a follow-up video on my channel about it. Yeah, dude. Uh, Valdez is awesome, but Navarrete is, is one of my favorite uh, boxers. And again, I'm not a big boxing guy, so I like, there's a few guys that I like, I, I follow, and Navarrete is one of them. Let me see if I can find that. I think I did like a whole follow-up video on that. I was so fucking stoked. Yeah, I didn't get a lot of views, but this is my follow-up video. Whoa, what the hell's going on here? Okay, here we go. Oh, you do not want a pet monkey hog from home. I uh, appreciate you, Hockey. Surprise Wilson didn't go down at Valdez around four to six, 10 bucks for 180. Wow. I'm getting I'm getting a package from Hogan from home. I put 150 on the fight, not to go the distance at plus 145, though. It's whatever. My night is saved. Easy money. Good job, Valdez. Peace I'm out. Valdez won round seven. I don't Hockey from home again. If you if you've been seeing what they're doing in Thailand right now, you would not you would not again like they're taking over. They are straight up stealing guns from the cops and ravaging the streets. It's fucked up. Hold on, let me find the video. Bro just won the champion. Bro just won the belt. Unanimous decision on twenty four hours. <laughs> What are we getting? Let me see if I can find this. I shared it in one of my group chats on Twitter. Where are the monkeys at? Um, man, maybe maybe they just, someone deleted the post. Okay, here it is. Here's, oh, someone deleted the post. Bro, the monkeys are taking over here, uh, St Thailand. He wants a fight in three weeks at 170. All right. I basically don't know much about sports outside of Michigan. Hey, I respect that. I respect that. Again, guys, UFC, he's going to fire up the, the end of the fight there on his channel. So go, go check him out. Go subscribe to his channel. Go drop a like.
Yeah, I can't believe you won that on short. I mean, I can because the other guy sucks. But hold on, let me let me. I'm I'm now I'm committed to finding these these monkeys in Thailand, man, because this shit was wild. Okay, here it is. Oh my god! Like hockey from home. You you really want one of these? You really want one of these? Guys, fuck monkeys, dude. They're way too smart. Look at this shit. Look at this. Fuck these little fucks, dude. These dirty fucking animals. They literally are swarming the streets of Thailand here. There was a few who nabbed some babies out of their parents' arms and dragged them across the street. Look at this shit, dude. Dude, they straight up saw the new Planets of the Planet of the Apes movie. And decide to go ham. This gives a whole new meaning to monkeying around, monkeying around, ladies and gentlemen. I swear, Eric's responsible for this. Somehow, some way. If you know, you know. But yeah, this is why hockey from home. I want nothing to do with them monkeys. Look at this shit. This is fucked up. Anyways, Valdez is overcome with emotion. Valdez is so happy. Nice. Easter, you're such a casual. How didn't you know the dots if I would be a draw? I trust you. Hey, at least, hey, at least you didn't lose any money. Uh, don't you just get your money back if it's a draw? Again, I don't even know how it works. That's how much of a casual I am. Uh, nice helping up the guy he beat. What a Chad. They look so cute. Ugh. Dude, I might cry this out to be a real man. Nice, nice. Those monkeys look like they're from 2011 CGI horror movie. Oh, please do not name a monkey after me. That would... I mean, the monkey... It's like, the, they'd be as hairy as me. I just... I... I, um... I am fascinated by monkeys because of how close they are to humans as far as like the range of animals to like human beings. And they're, they're, they're scary smart, right? For animals. But that's also why I hate them. <laughs> what a guy Valdez is. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now that was a fucking, now that was fucking content. Wait, the monkeys or the Valdez fight? I gave you guys Miranda as a play and y'all gave me Dodson crazy. Uh, more monkeys breakdowns. Isha Jr. <laughs> I hope to never have an Isha Jr. walk this earth. I'd feel bad for that kid. Poor kid would be a walking carpet. Picked on at school. <laughs> Single dad. <laughs> I'll show Isha Jr. on screen. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, main event of the evening here. I'm actually excited for this one, guys. Wait, what is going on here? I'm pretty sure Uriah Faber is going to be fighting in A1 combat uh, later this year. So Rai Faber is just thanking the crowd right now, saying this is their, their biggest event so far. Three title fights. Tina White-ish is what they call the guy on the announcer. They're on the announce. They're on the um the desk there. Isha Jr. escaped and went to Isha's house just now. He's gonna be on Isha just watch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did you know Ali Usyk and Jake Paul of the same birthday? I did not know that. Huh. You learn something new every day. I actually I love that that little tidbit of uh tidbit of news. 
Hey. Hey, that's cool. Um, your right favor is bringing Yan Xiaonan into the cage right now, just pumping her up, giving her props. Uh, oh, she doesn't know much English, but she's saying, I love California. I love your right favor. And I'm going to be staying here. And I love everything about uh, America. Look at that. Look at that. By the way, Yan Xiaonan is a legit fighter, man. 17 and 3 going up against Wei Li Zhang. Oh, man. It's going to be fireworks. Going to be fireworks. Is that not? Is that not correct? Do Navarrete versus Valdez in the same boxing division. Super uh, featherweight's amazing right now. Dude, that fight was one of the best fights uh, I've ever seen in boxing. Invisible Isha Jr. Uh, in Michigan, our sports team respect everybody, but have confidence during trash talking. In the East, they go after one another. Bro, I loved uh, I loved Michigan's hockey team when uh, when Quinn Hughes was on the team. I watched so much of it. Oh, I can't see him because he's invisible. I got you. I got you. Uh, I have some wedding dinner thing to go to. So I'm going to stream Cage Warriors until I have to go. So I might actually be in some fancy clothes. Um, and then I'm going to this wedding dinner thing at 6 Eastern. And then if I'm back in time, we'll do the rest of UFC. If not, we'll do Pancras. You have that birthday too. Nice. She's just like a 90s gangster. Never is way better than Valdez. Dude, never for me, like again, I'm not the biggest boxing guy. You guys are way, way bigger boxing fans than me, but like, oh, look at Kane Velasquez, man. Kane Velasquez going gray. That's cool. Kane Velasquez is in the corner of uh, Abdi Kabil Calder. He's an AKA guy. Bro, th this is this is going to be Ernie Juarez's um, biggest fight here. And again, big shout out to Ernie and the Juarez family. I think I said this early on stream, but we've streamed a couple of his fights for A1. And he commented on Twitter, you know, said thank you for the coverage. And then his mom, his aunt, and his cousin all messaged me on Facebook uh, asking if I would interview them and I, interview him. And I, I sent him my contact info. I sent him my email. Um... So yeah, if any of the Juarez family is watching or, or checks us out, checks us out later, even though it says BKFC, um, tell them to reach out to me again. I would happy uh, be happy to interview Ernie down the road. Well, Navarrete is moving up. We're about that length. Uh, try to getting past Penny, Seawall, Frank, and Taylor Decker with two guards in the middle. I don't even know who any of those guys are. Unjustified. She's buddy my cables. Raleigh walking the Chichuaha tomorrow. No, tell them to postpone the wedding. It's not even the wedding. Well, I mean, it's better than UFC 300 weekend. Better than UFC 300 weekend. It's like some dinner thing for everybody who's part of the wedding party. I already RV RSVP'd and I live with them. So I got to go. He's been out for a while, Mikey. He's been out for, I think, almost uh, like eight months or so. Eight or nine months. Dylan, that's my facts. Google that shit. Apparently, this invisible monkey's causing chaos. I'm a sports guy. No, I love it. I love it. Like I said, I'm a sports guy, but within my lanes. I'm a hockey guy, box across, and then combat sports guy. Oh, Chihuahua. Jesus, of course. A little Mexican dog, really walking. Chihuahua tomorrow. The blood. I don't think I have any sugar in my blood right now. I need to 
eat some eat something after this, guys. We've stayed on longer than expected here, but like I said, I wanted to see wanted to see our boy. Oh, and look, they're trash talking. Let's go. Wanted to see our boy Ernie Juarez a fight here and hopefully defend his title. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Picking up my suit tomorrow, too. Or no, wait. Mon no, not Monday because it's Easter. Tuesday, picking up my suit. All right, Ernie Juarez, 26 years old, 7-0 and as a pro, going up against the Kazakh, who's fighting out of AKA 5-2. and 4-1 and one in his last five fights. He's 3-1 and one in A1, one KOT go, two submissions, two decisions. Be a 7-3 and three guy, lost to an 8-2 and two guy. Then be a 2 no guy before. His first ever fight was against Peyton Talbot. And Peyton Talbot knocked him out. Uh, Ernie Juarez, the young Titan. Like I said, 7-0 and oh as a pro. Two KOT goes, two submissions, three decisions. 4-0 oh in A1. Beat a 4-0 oh guy. 6-1, and 3-0, and 2-1. Oh, and and Those are his notable last fights. But again, he's he's young, right? He beat a 2-1 two, two and one guy when he's 3-0. and oh. Beat a 3-0 oh guy when he's 4-0. Oh. Beat a 6-1 and one guy when he's 5-0. and oh. Beat a 4-0 oh guy when he was 6-0. and oh. So this is another good step up in competition as... Uh, Calder is an insane grappler. He's got he's got that AK grappling. All right, let me just update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. Last fight that we're gonna stream here, guys, and then I have to get some food, do some UFC prep, and figure out what the hell I'm actually streaming tomorrow. I might just rejig the stream schedule. We'll see, because I posted it before I messed up and wasn't able to do half the streams I wanted to do today, but that's why I'm staying on also a little bit longer, guys. Ah, yes. Shout out Stu Grimson. Love me some Stu Grimson. Bob Probert, Stu Grimson. I mean, Ty Domi. He's some of the good fighters from back in the day. Derek Bugard, rest in peace. Former Prince George Cougar, New York Ranger, and of course, Minnesota Wild. Western Mass Climbers and Dylan's pretty quiet now. You have to go. It's all good. Why are you no longer in the city life sign your office? What are you talking about? Hockey from home. It's right here. And he's about to treat this cause like he did Bert. It's a good thing I don't have bananas here. Hey, what's up, Andrew? Peyton Talbot beat a couple guys on this card, actually. Oh, shit. All right, round two. Let's get it on. Oh, sorry, round two. Round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. God, I need to eat. Holy crap. My brain's farting left, right, and center. All right, four minutes and 53 seconds on the clock. Ah, oh, the monkey stole the sign. I got you. I got you. Four minutes and 48 seconds on the clock. I don't know. It's still here, Hogger from home. Chris Osgood should be in the NHL Hall of Fame. Yes, over freaking... Um, Oh, God, I'm having brain farts right now. Sorry, guys. Over, um, who's that? Oh, one sec, one sec. Now I'm on, now I'm on this. Yes, over Scott Stevens. I can't believe I fucking forgot Scott Stevens' name. Uh, Chris Osgood should be in, in the NHL Hall of Fame over fucking Scott Stevens, that piece of shit. Four minutes on the clock. Looking for the single leg is Ernie Juarez. I'm pretty sure he... Yeah, Gracie fight. So he's uh, out of the... D, uh, not, not the Diaz camp, but... Oh, beautiful takedown by Ernie Juarez. Looking for the back of Calder. Calder back up to his feet here. Good scrambles. Good scrambles. Uh-oh, Herb Dean is the... Ref for this main event. Three minutes and 32 seconds on the clock. Oh, and a nice takedown by Calder. Three minutes and 22 seconds. <laughs> I don't know, Andrew. I can't see him. Three minutes and 13 seconds. Doing great. I believed you. I just thought it was bait putting Jake Paul with Usyk and Ali on the fact. Um, 
Rubber Ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Rubber Ducky, Rubber Ducky, you're the one to make bath time so much fun. <laughs> Mikey Lolich should be in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Only I know who that is, though. I'm not a big baseball guy. Let the wrestle fuck begin. Yes, I will. For the morning. For the morning and early afternoon. And then late at night for Pancras. There's some Stockton slaps to the side of Calder's head. Two minutes and 16 seconds on the clock. Oh, God, man. This commentary is great. I mean, it's awesome. It's very, very good. It's very, very good. <laughs> As I turn it all the way down. Two minutes on the clock. Yeah, I might rejig the schedule and post it here before bed just to be more realistic. I think I was biting off more than I could chew <laughs> today. But I mean, shoot, we did uh, um, four and a half hours of ACA. We're going to hit four. So already almost eight hours of streaming here today. Isha Juni loves people with the name Isha, so he's sleeping in your bed now. Ugh, I hate monkeys. Woman in 35 seconds on the clock. I think they're fascinating. Doesn't mean I like them. Woman in 25 seconds. Getting back up to his feet here is Calder looking for a re-entry into the guard. Juarez tried to throw out an up kick. Didn't land. One minute, 10 seconds on the clock. Nice scramble by Juarez, but Calder staying in control. Calder entering the guard here. See you later, Hoggy from home. Thank you so much for joining. I'm here laughing. Thanks to all my monkey comments. Hey, appreciate you. Thank you so much for the support. Andrew, are you hosting a city like barbecue in June? I'll be there in the afternoon and late stream for a few minutes before I get my brother's house for a bunch for brunch uh, for a bunch of Easter stuff. Let's go, let's go, boys! The plus two forty wrestle fuck exactly as planned. <laughs> Twenty seconds on the clock here. <laughs> Hockey ain't tackling no invisible monkey. We're watching the fights. 20 seconds on the clock. And a smothering game plan here by Calder. He used to host a like barbecue. I found a reggae song from Ernie about rubber ducks. Oh, see. Dude, please share it in the Discord. Please share it in the Discord. Yeah, Dylan, all of us boys got the same birthday for real. It's all good hockey. See you later. Mikey P, that is me. Andrew B, I'll let you be the host. What's good we making? Or what food we making? He's real, you just can't see him. And Andrew, everyone else is live. Dude, I need to do more acid to see this monkey. I mean... Do more. I mean, do acid. Just reminded that it's almost 5 a.m. for Andrew and he's straight snoozing right now. <laughs> Let's go. I like the song Freak Unleashed by Corn. Dude, I love Corn. I was watching their concert from uh, Woodstock 99. Well, I had it on the background while working Sunday, I think. No, okay. I ain't reading that comment, Hockey. That's, that, that's gross. Now a cow is wearing a turban. <laughs> Bro, I have to see this music video, Hank the Tank. <laughs> Four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock as we enter the second round here, guys. Sorry that I'm fading a bit here. It's It's been a long week and a long day, and your boy hasn't eaten anything in a while, so we're going to ride through this last fight here and then sign off. Hockey heard us talking about meth stream and she took it literally. Four minutes on the clock. 
body shot by Juarez. The monkey stealing my piss jugs. Body shot by Juarez. I actually didn't have any piss jugs for this stream. Only the long cards, like full UFC cards, a rise in um, that K1 World Max. Those are the ones where I got to bring piss jugs. But usually I got like two, two or three gallon bottles under me here. You guys never know. That's the thing. You guys have no idea when I'm just when I'm just letting one rip. Three minutes and twenty five seconds on the clock. Calder looking for his entry. Juarez keeping him on his feet right now. I think this is only a three round fight in this promotion. Yeah, because the last foot, the last one was only three rounds for a title fight too. Oh, there's a body kick by Juarez and Calder taking him to the ground, but Juarez right back up to his feet up against the cage. It's all good. We understand. Hey, I'm, I'm stoked you're here, Crazy Clown. I'm excited to uh, see you on more streams. Um, ba, 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 ba. we all fucking nuts yes indeed indeed that is true nice job by Calder Dragon Horse to the ground but Horace gets right back up on his feet and now he's going to defend a single leg I think holy crap it's almost midnight post in discord enjoy you twisted maniacs oh my god I can't wait to watch it Two minutes and 16 seconds on the clock. And Calder in the top position right now. Horace asks the map back to the cage. What the Sesame Street do the rubber duck with Ernie? I <laughs> I literally thought this guy like made a hip hop song or a rock song. But the way you were rhyming, I literally thought it was like a. I literally thought Ernie Juarez like had a music channel or something. And that's what I thought you were sending me. Oh my god, Hank! One minute and five seconds on the clock. No, we're going. I see that we're going full Sesame Street. That's hilarious. One minute on the clock. Back up to his feet is Ernie Juarez. Oh, Juarez lands a nice left and a right. Juarez swinging with the right hand. Juarez with the body lock on Calder. Rubber duck is back. Hugger, what's the decor going to be? Isha leg pennings and hockey memorabilia. That is oh my guess. Baby Shark just made a St. Patrick's Day parade. Dude, shout out to Baby Shark. Told you cow was wearing a turban. What did you think it was? Bro, I don't know. I thought it was just some crazy fucking acid trip ass iMovie music video. I don't even know when it is, Hockey from Home. And probably not, because flying to Toronto is expensive. Nice right hand by Ernie. Ernie throwing some shots here at the end of the second round. Oh, nice right elbow by Ernie Juarez. Oh, and they both look tired. They both look tired here. They're in final round coming up next. Again, if Juarez can keep this third round on the feet, he might snag a victory. But he lost that first round. Second round, up for grabs. I'm biased. I'm leaning Ernie Juarez. I want our boy to win. In that case, Hogan from home, I'm coming. I hate that song I have stuck in my head, Baby Shark. Yeah, but summer is the very broad, you know, hockey from home. You know how busy I am. I need dates. I need dates. 2 0 Calder, please don't get finished round three. Calder probably won that second round, but 
I'll be I'll be devil's advocate and say Juarez did more damage. <laughs> oh my god, Dylan, what have you done? What have you done? Ten bucks a leg or fifteen for both? There's a prequel. Oh my goodness. All right, third and final round, guys. Then I got to get some food because I'm fading. Augie just can't stay away. What's up, West West Coast? Outside low kick by Ernie Juarez. What are you doing going for the takedown, Juarez? Body lock here, a couple shots to the body. You must watch, but I will, I will. Oh, don't worry, when you get to the barbecue, uh, you know, you'll know it's a date real quick. <laughs> I'm out for real. What the fuck was that? There's someone outside my door right now. I think my roommate's fucking with me. Anyways, <laughs> dad are talking from home. Now I'm scared. Uh, out for real. Good night, Andrew. Thank you so much for joining. You said you wanted dates after all. That's true. That's true. July 17th. All right, I'll have to check my calendar. Have you been educating the ways of Sesame Street? <laughs> Three minutes and 56 seconds on the clock. Top position right now is Calder. They both, I mean, Ernie seems a little tired. Are you back to the, back to the mat, asked, or asked to the mat, back to the cage. Bro, I don't think I've ever faded this hard on streaming, even staying up all night for Ryzen. This just shows. Food is fuel, ladies and gentlemen. Food is fuel. Three minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. I right, dip. I need some rest. Yeah, Anthony, <laughs> you and me both, brother. Have a great night. Hope to see you for a little bit tomorrow. And if not, I'll uh, I'll be back on Sunday. I'll be back on Sunday. <laughs> Have a good one, Hockey from home. Hockey, I cannot promise that. I cannot promise that. You know, I do not like monkeys. I want to call them all in Thailand. Three minutes on the clock. I'm looking for a heel hook right now. Not straightened out. Not tight here. Ernie looking to try to get back to his feet here, and he escapes that submission. And Ernie looking to take the back of Calder. Hey, no problem, buddy. No problem. Thank you. I got to check that little ring camera after this. Peace. Whoever hates Sesame Street hates life. Oscar the Grouch is my homie. Do not make him dead, Isha. If you make him dead, I'll be sad. Well, apparently he's already pissed and shit everywhere, so he better hide. He better hide. Looking for the triangle choke right now is Ernie Juarez. Oh my god, he actually might have it. It's locked in, but turning to his left here is Calder. Good job by Calder moving to the side. Oh my god. If he readjusts, he let it go. One minute and 55 seconds on the clock. Ha, ah, joke's on him. I do not have a closet. It's just more space. One minute and 44 seconds. Whereas he's working his grappling, he had two opportunities there to get on top and get the back. As I said that, what the fuck? Oh, another triangle attempt here. Let it go, let it go. This boy's patience has to be studied. My patience? Oh, this is this is fun. Oof. Woman in 20 seconds on the clock. He's still trying to get that triangle. But a good job by Calder pushing him up against the cage. I haven't checked my schedule yet, Hawking from home. Still streaming. One minute on the clock. I mean, this is this is a textbook fight of grappler going grapple against the guy who's going to do as much as he can when he's not in these positions. 50 seconds on the clock. Back up to their feet. Ernie now looking for a straight arm bar. I mean, er Ernie Juarez has thrown up now three... I mean, that one, I won't even count that one because he was trying to go for that. But at, at least one submission attempt in this fight or in this third round. Oh man, they're both dead tired right now. Just trying to land some muffin shots to the body. Well, you're dead, Ernie. Nice takedown by Ernie. 
I mean, I have no idea how to score this third round. Ernie now looking for the back take, doesn't get it, and reversed by Calder. That second round, I think, could go could go either way because Ernie actually did some damage in that round, and that was the you know, and and when Calder was in top position, it's not like he was throwing anything. Calder wins the first round though for sure, and that is. I'm gonna buy from the final our boy Ernie Juarez to win. All right, we're going to the judges' scorecards here. Good, I'm going to lock them in there. All right. Interested to see how the judges score this one. Easy 30-27. I don't know, man. I don't think it's that easy. He didn't land any shots. He just wrestled him. Now, again, this is MMA. These judges, they, they might value that. We've seen that. We've seen that on occasion before as well. You're, you're, I'm not saying you're, you're probably right. You're probably right. Oh, actually, you know what? He, now we're looking at some of the restart. And again, I was reading the chat a lot too. So like this, I don't really have a, my opinion is a hundred percent moot on this one because I was reading a lot of the chat as well. You guys probably had your eyes on this one a lot more closely than I did. I didn't do shit. Peace. Yeah, so like I, I I trust your opinion more on this one, Mikey P. Because I was reading the chat for a lot of this. One eye on the chat, one eye uh, didn't land any shots either. Oh, come on, just announce the winner so I can eat, bro. Yeah, and hey, for the sake of your uh for your bet, I I uh, I hope Calder wins as well. Now I uttered that, and Ernie's never going to jump on the show. But that's okay. That's okay. It's the freaking uh, suction therapy curse. <laughs> Dylan's house is all bananas. See you later, hockey. All right. What do you guys think? And new? It's a cool belt. It's a cool belt for a regional promotion. It's kind of like a cross between, you know, something pro wrestling would uh, produce, but also, you know, small enough to be an MMA belt. Oh, well, I'm glad you had a good time, hockey. Unanimous decision. Twenty nine twenty eight. Oh, and still, oh, my God. <laughs> he won the second and third round. The submission attempts were enough to win that fight. Ernie Juarez. With the American flag, let's go. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. Let's freaking go. Sorry, Mikey. Nah. Not the best performance. No way. The submission attempts were enough to win the fight. What is this? Pride rules, bro? Oh, my goodness. Hey. Love our boy Ernie Juarez. He sn snuck that win out there in that one. Hardly a dominant uh, fight like his, like a few of his in this promotion. But, oh, my goodness. Broden Lennon single straight was on his back the entire time. That's crazy. I'm not that impressed by your performance. I'm not impressed by your performance. All right, guys. I got to run. I like, I'm so hungry. I'm literally fading on stream here. We've been streaming for four hours. We did all of BKFC. Um, we saw a little bit of LFA. What a great title fight in LFA and uh, not the best title fight here, but our boy Ernie Juarez is eight and no, let's fucking go. 
Ain't no way he won that fight. No, BKFC's been done for like an hour and a half, bro. In the granite, it's great to see you. Good to see you. Robbery of the year. I don't know. I think uh, I think our boy in the UFC was a little bit more robbery, but I don't want to open up that can of worms of Mikey P. Um, thank you all for joining, ladies and gentlemen. Seriously, you all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Um, I'm going to update my stream schedule because it, it, I think I'm just biting off more than I can chew this weekend, but uh, I'll update the stream schedule because we stay up later. I don't even know if I'll be able to make it to JCK. You're right, favorite one combat is trash. Well, at least they do Muay Thai. At least they do Muay Thai. Um, back tomorrow, we're going to do a little bit of Cage Wars. I'll try to sneak in RWS or JCK. And if I don't do either of those streams in the morning, we will do our UFC predictions video in the morning. Sound good? Sound good? Great. If I'm not back in time for UFC, we will be doing some Pancrase. And Sunday, we're going to be streaming some boxing. Dylan, go check out his channel right now. Dylan will be live. Yes, in the ground. Thank you so much for stopping by. Happy Easter, man. Hope you have a great weekend. I will be streaming a little bit tomorrow, and I will be streaming Sunday as well. Dylan right now is going to be streaming, so go check out his channel. I'm going to eat. I'm going to prep my UFC picks, and we'll, we'll likely do the UFC picks tomorrow morning. Um... Look, if I wake up at 5.30 a.m., we'll do JCK. If I wake up at 7.30 a.m. or 6.30 a.m., we'll do RWS. If I sleep in past either of those two, then we're just going to do UFC predictions video. But again, you guys are awesome. I appreciate you all. Smash that like button and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. And still, question mark, our boy Ernie Juarez and draw. Jaw Dodson and what a freaking war in LFA. Um, hockey might be out now. Hockey might be out. I'm not showing the picture on stream hockey. I'm out. I'm out. I got to eat. Smash that like button, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. I am freaking out of here.